I can hear y'all if you're tuning in after the fact. Uh, it says live on my screen, but sometimes there's a, a little bit of a delay here while we uh, wait on YouTube to catch up. But sometimes there's buffering. I see a commenter, hi from Tennessee. I see a commenter, hi from Tennessee. You gonna turn the, the volume down? You gonna turn the volume down? Well, there's obviously a 30 second delay and too much volume. I'm gonna turn the volume down. <laughs> You gonna start talking to them, or I'm gonna start talking to the audience. Okay. Good evening, when... <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna go live, take some Q and A's, but just want to say thank you for a fantastic May. Uh, Justin Kayak Catfish has uh, had a phenomenal run. He's cranking out content, uh, doing some different things, and had kind of a personal best, if you will. May had tons of viewers. Uh, just had a really solid, you know, month of content. Looking to to match that in June. And uh, a couple things we want to try to uh, knock out tonight is we uh, never found, what was his name? Eric. 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 One word, Eric. Eric, Eric one word. So he's, Eric, he's lost Eric. his chance. We're moving on. So we're going to give that uh, Daiwa to someone else. And uh, we're going to do that probably 830 or so. So we'll shoot the breeze a little bit. We got uh, with us Daniel Lines. We also call him Pro Neighbor. He, uh, mm -hmm. He's fresh from... Texas and Possum Kingdom. He's a bass kayak fisherman, and he came in fifth in the Bassmaster Kayak Domination. Classic. And also... The got to go across the stage. Got to go across the Bassmaster Classic stage, and he caught the biggest fish of the tournament, a 24-and-a-half-inch largemouth. We got a super chat. I'd be using that bass he caught for baits, what I'd be doing. <laughs> Creole cat Creole cat fishing, fish $20, make it holla. You gotta love the coon. He's a coon A-double-S-S. He, he's that's from right. Louisiana, too. That's Straight right. from Lafayette, right. Louisiana. Right. Thank you for the super chat. We're up here to Tennessee, so I like you seeing Creole cash. We're always thrilled with content cash. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Uh, so, um, Eric from Texas says hello. Um, well, hello to Texas. My number one viewing state right there, Texas. 10% of my views come out of Texas. It's amazing. Andrew Lupton says, is, uh, uh, is my city kids love your program. It's our new Thursday evening entertainment. We go fishing at Lake Fontana in North Carolina. Okay. August. What cut bait other than skipjack should we try? I'm not sure if I can find that. Uh, in Fontana, I don't. I would use whatever is over there, I mean, whatever's native, whether that be bluegill. I don't know if they have shad in there, but any kind of bait fish that's swimming around, that's what the catfish are eating regularly. So I would stick with that. I think. And, and don't quote me on this. I think Fontana's full of perch, too. Okay. That would make um, a great bite. I, I believe that to be the case. So I, I would think that would be ideal. You could probably use kind of his technique in his videos with the gulp minnows and, and, and likely catch some perch in yeah. that, with that technique. And it and could be a blueback herring lake, too. It could be a blueback herring lake. There, that's a clear water lake. There's tons of smallmouth in it, but it's got some unique things. It's kind of like Chihuahua, and Chihuahua's got perch in it. I think it's... Mm -hmm the next lake or the next two lakes. I think those are connected if I'm, if I remember correctly. Okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. <clears throat> William O'Mara says hello from North Carolina. Dennis from Texas says howdy y'all. We know how to speak y'all. That's right. Y'all. I say it all the time. Y'all and yuns. <laughs> my, man, my man Brian Forrest says him and his horse Toby is drinking beer and chilling out. Oh, <laughs> Lord. Amen. That old horse we, named Toby. We love, we love your Toby. Toby needs his own Facebook page or social media. You could do a whole YouTube channel on that horse named Toby. Uh, he could be making his own content out there like Mr. Ed back in the day. N Nito Pasquella, I probably butchered that. When you come into fish in Alabama, we've just talked about some potential yeah. trips coming up. Yeah, I think I'm going to try to do some trips. Once we get on through summer here where the temperatures aren't so unbearable and, and all these places get done with the spawn, Probably try to go to Alabama at some point this year or later in the fall. I definitely want to get to Santee Cooper at some point again this fall. So going to be doing some trips. Don't have any definitive plans on when or where, you know, specifically just yet. But there are some trips coming up on the horizon I'm going to make happen at some point this year. So Randy Minch says, circle hooks, comma, do you keep your reels tight or do you allow some drag? What works best? I like to keep mine tight. Uh, my drags normally set around 10 to 12 pounds, but I get better hookups that way. Now, if I'm bank fishing, I'll use the clickers and let them run with it and then try to set the hook, but my hookup ratio goes way down when that happens, so I preferably to have them tight. 
We got four ninety nine from somebody here. I know. Adam Cates. <laughs> Woo! We just got five dollars. Come on down to Texas. Brandon we chase Big Blues. Is. Hey, I'm gonna get to Texas at some point. Love what you do for the catfish community. Keep keep doing what you are doing. Who, now, who was that? Was that Brandon? Brandon Smallwood. Brandon Smallwood. Thank you, Brandon. There was a Appreciate it, I may have missed some super chats last time, but I think it was technical difficulties with YouTube. No, so he, I, I'm going to say I'm better than Google. Yeah. So I'll yeah. just take that to the bank. If so, Palmetto Cat shows up tonight, <laughs> he's firing Pro Moderator because Palmetto <laughs> Cat's in the last live stream. He donated like five super chats in a row, and Pro Moderator over here missed every single one of them somehow. So he's firing Pro Moderator tonight. Wayne Mura says, driving down to Santee to watch you win the championship was a dream come true. Such a down-to-earth dude. Hey, thank you, Wayne, man. He brought me a rod holder over there, too. Very Pretty nice. nice rod holder for fishing from the bank. Our soil here is so dang rocky. It's, mm -hmm. it's hard to use that style, but it was real nice. He drove a long way. He's come over and meet me. Cis Wayne's a good guy. Cisco Tamez says, hello from Temple, Texas, guys. Question, what is y'all's preferred time to fish? Well, there ain't a bad time to fish, but dawn and dusk is best for me. And I like dawn because it's convenient for me. There's not all the pleasure boaters out on the water, but with our generation schedule from TVA over here, if you got current flow, that's that's a big thing too. And that's normally running in the afternoons, evening hours. That's when you're gonna get your best flow here. Nikki Hayes didn't realize how good looking I was. She said that I'd done shaved clean, did almost didn't recognize me. Wow. There you go. You know, she's on Instagram. Maybe maybe you hit her up on <laughs> <laughs> He's like, on yeah. he's on Bumble or oh, Babble, boy, whichever yeah. one of them dating sites. Bumble. He's on there. That's right. Bumble. <laughs> Well, I might, I might auction him off on a date sometime. That earned me some money. That's big money right there. Probably have some men pay more than the women, but Johnny, 100%. <laughs> y'all ain't right. Johnny Ramsey says, thank you all for what you're doing. You're helping me through a very difficult time. Their son passed away last Thursday. Very sorry to hear that, Johnny. And yeah, glad, very sorry about that, Johnny. I hate that. Comfort. Got two super chats. Trucker John Billy for $5. Love the content. I'm from Texas and have learned a lot about your your kayak fishing for catfish and then uh, k and k fishing adventures for 25 dollars hey it's colina i'm sitting on the river right now looking for carp but wanted to make sure i donated thank you very much yeah. <laughs> well thank you both very much who was uh, trucker john billy thank you man we get a lot of people from texas and cali up there man she's been cranking out the content she got her own channel k and k adventures now awesome and uh Catching some big old carp. I'm following her on the gram on there. Yeah, he took me carp fishing with the cicadas, and that was a blast. That it was a lot of fun. So I, I, I applaud what you're doing, and that's a. a, a yeah. I think that's just going to get more and more popular in yeah. the United States. So. Y'all check that out. K and K Fishing Adventures on YouTube. There, cranking out the content. We got a, a bass fishing question from Michael Gabriel. I'll you, turn that over to you. Yeah, all. you ever <laughs> fish? You ever fish? Uh, you ever frog fish when bass fishing? Of course we do, and, oh, yeah. and it, it kind of. You know, in East Tennessee, there's not a ton of matted grass and lakes, but there are some areas where there's there's matted grass, and even sometimes when there's not matted grass, a frog is a good option. But but um, it's it can be frustrating technique because it's a very effective technique for a very big fish. But you know, some people say three and ten strikes is your ratio, and and I, I think that's probably you know thirty percent of the bites you get, you might actually get to the boat. It's just it's a fun. It's fun and exciting, but uh, it's definitely the, the, the most frustrating, exciting, <laughs> and exciting way. Yeah. But one thing you remember whenever the, those frog fish hit is to just give it like a two count. If you if you set that hook too fast, you will your hookup percentage is going to go way down. But if you give it two or three count, you wait for that line to get tight, and then you rear back. Yeah, that's going to really increase your odds. But uh, we got super chats exciting. coming right and left here. Garrett Mitchell, thirteen right. for five dollars. All of us in Texas, which we thank you, Garrett. River. And uh, uh, Toothman, thirty-two with nineteen ninety-nine. Hey, from North Carolina, just watched the video. Hilarious, uh, or, or just watched his becoming a man video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hilarious. All your vids are informative, entertaining. Love the fishing and garden content. Keep killing it. You know he well, had a green thumb over here. Well, right? thank you, Toothman. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate you watching. And thank you also for Garrett Michael 13 there, man. Kevin Watkins. Appreciate you donating that money. Asking a, a very good question. Does the Carolina rig work for, work for fishing from a pier? Yeah. Yeah, it should. Yeah, just cast it out there. You know, fishing from a pier is not much different than fishing in a boat or fishing from the bank. You're casting your baits out and letting it sit and wait. So Carolina rig would be fine. Yeah. 
And then um, we've got, have you ever, Charles Lockler, have you ever tried fresh carp as bait? I found that flatheads seem to really enjoy them where I fish. You should give them a try. Yeah. I do use carp. Uh, I like the smaller ones because they're easier to cut. So when I get them in the cast net, I'll use them. But most of the carp you get, even when I'm you know trying to fish for carp around here, hell, they're all five to 10 pounds and them things, getting them things cut up and, and chunks, their scales are like armor. I mean, they're, and they're all bone. So it's, it's tough for me to cut up, but the small ones, yeah, they work really well. Kevin was surprised we answered his, his question there. We try as best to get as many questions answered as we can, and it's always a challenge, but... Uh, yeah, my moderator's terrible at yeah, his job. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to fire him tonight. Even if Palmetto Cats don't show up, I'm going to fire him. <laughs> he's, he's, he, he gets what he pays for, ladies and gentlemen, so just keep that in mind. So the Coon 187, can you show off your new hat? I'm assuming that's a new, new, hat? new Tennessee hat. No, this is my old faded one here. I've, mm -hmm. I've got one looks just like it that ain't faded. I'll bust out soon, but uh, yeah, that's it. Tennessee hat. Yeah. Go balls. Josh Ryer says, I watch your videos every day and it really helps me out. I'm in North Alabama and our water and weather conditions are very close to yours. Thanks for what you do. Well, thank you for watching. You got some good water to fish down there in Alabama. I'm jealous. Do we have another one here? We've got a super chat at 99 cents from Riot, just a smiley face with sunglasses. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah. We got another one here too from Ke Leandro Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. You gonna read that one or are you just gonna you just gonna skip the nineteen ninety nine? I'm gonna I'm gonna You're gonna, gonna fire I'm, yourself I, here. Yeah, right? somebody's gonna get launched from my house. <laughs> you may want to see a, a, a YouTube celebrity evicted from my house. <laughs> Throw, throw some comments in the section. No, yes, uh, love your videos. Keep up the good work. Best of luck to you on this new adventure. Well, thank you, Leandro. I appreciate your support. All right. People like you all and the others there that's donating the content cash tonight, you all are helping me make this dream a reality. And I truly appreciate it. He does threaten to fire me every time we go live, Nikki. I just get treated so poorly, but thank you for caring. I, I think we could be friends. I, I do uh, fire him, actually, after every yeah, show. He right. just keeps showing back up. He's like that guy in office space there with the stapler. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> there's, a, there's a contractual agreement in this scenario. So. <laughs> Palmetto, Palmetto Cats is in the house. Yes, hey, Kevin, you're hey, here. Hey. We've been waiting on you, Kevin. Oh, Mud Tramp with $100 and a Ooh. penny. Let's go. Heck yeah, Mud Tramp. She just Becca's in the house. She just dropped her eighth video. Woohoo, can't wait till I finish my move to drop some fishing ones. Then you get me one to get a kayak. As always, love your videos. Way to go. Y'all go check out Mud Tramp's channel there. She's posting these videos. Go check her out because she supports all me and a bunch of other fishing YouTubers. I mean, very generous person. And we're all supporting her because, I mean, she's amazing. Kevin's, Thank you so much, Becca. Kevin's Trophy, Catton, and Bassin $5 self-promo fee. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, there we go. What, what does it say? Self-promo self fee. Self-promo fee. Um, 334 Outdoors, 499 Is there a way I can send you some carp rigs? Love the carp content, but you can increase your about tenfold with a simple rig. Send it on, I, I'd say. I'm distracted yeah. here. I was trying to scroll through that. Um, Willie, Willie, the carp, carp rigs. Mm -hmm. I missed your whole thing there. I was trying to scroll see, back. See, see it's the thing hard. These things are scrolling so fast. I lost my place. So, okay, time out. Let's just take a deep breath. Ain't nobody going nowhere. Three, three, four outdoors. Is there a way I can send you some carp rigs? Love the carp content, but you can increase your about tenfold with a simple rig. Well, I, I appreciate that. Um, I've got a really small P.O. box. I don't like people sending me stuff because it sits down there. I only go check it once every couple of weeks. And the post office box, the post office has sent stuff back to people before with it sitting down there. So I took all that off my channel, but I do appreciate the offer though. I, I'm hoping to get better at this carp fishing stuff. We got some significant- And thank you for the content cash too. The super chats, content cash. Willie26411 for $20. Love your thank channel. Thank you, Willie. Love your channel, man. How long do you keep cut bait out before changing the bait? Depends on how much I got. If I've got a bunch, I'll switch it out pretty frequently. You know, maybe every 30 minutes to an hour or so. But there's been days where I've left baits out for five or six hours. <laughs> And, you know, if it's in good condition, the fish will eat it, even though it's been on there that long. Tom N. with $25 content cash would love to see you fish Lake 
I'm gonna kill this name. Tawakani. Tawakani. The coon, okay. the coon A double S S knows that word because okay. he knows that area. Loving all the content, I'll buy you a heater to fish with. LOL, Tommy from San Angelo, Texas. Well, thank you all so much for this content, Cash. Y'all are blowing me up here. Uh, I'll try to, I'll look that place up, Lake, whatever name I can't pronounce. Tawakani. Tawakani. So Tawakani. Riot, yeah, it's a famous catfish in Lake, I know that. Riot. Okay, I'll Riot, look it up. Riot does a super chat for $5 and just says, woo. I think it's supposed to be. Like woo! Palmetto Nature Cats. boy, right? Palmetto Cats <laughs> is ready to do his firing at $1.99. Okay. It's going to cost more than a damn dollar ninety nine. He spent $25 <laughs> last time you well, never acknowledged I'm him. telling you, Google blew that. I did not miss your super chat, Palmetto. We ain't. Kevin, we ain't Palmetto me. Cats, you're firing him at the end of the program now. I want you to send him pack and give his pink slip. Twenty-five dollars. He's five different times last time. <laughs> five different times. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a fabrication, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. Yeah. So Havoc, we know the truth, don't we, Kevin? Havoc Master sixty-nine <laughs> for five dollars. Thank you, Havoc Master. I know the answer to this question. Well, you do. Why don't you go ahead and answer it, Tim? Oh boy. So, <laughs> what liquid is in the cup you use to keep your gulp minnows in? P. It's Pika. It's Pika. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's the gulp. I pour the gulp jars in there, but. Yeah, I mean, in times of need, you know, if you need a peak up, it's right there. <laughs> Wayne Hoska for $5. Hey, Justin, I'm from South Carolina. Watch all your videos. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Wayne. Appreciate the content, Cash. Appreciate you watching. Well, we're getting a lot. We're up to two seventy seven ninety five already. Man, that's that's 16 crazy. Minutes. 16 minutes, Rock and man. roll. Rock and roll. Love it. Chicken bake. So Kevin Lee, and I know the answer to this question too, is why don't you at least weigh your biggest fish? It's like anytime you yeah. go down this road, and it's the same with, with bass fishermen too, and you post something, somebody's going to be like, oh, that's a four pounder. And, and maybe you've got a scale picture that says it's a 10 pounder and mm -hmm. this and that and the other. And so it's just like, you know what, it's, I've been fortunate enough for, for you know, my experiences with Justin and kayak catfish to, to catch some big fish. And it's like, man, they're so fun to catch you know whether it's 50 inches or 50 pounds or whatever it is i mean it's just you know that's you know his goal is to try to put people in a, in a better place to get a fish like that and so if you kind of follow his content listen to what he says it's going to improve your odds so and too i mean if i get one big enough to be worth weighing there's no way i'm going to get an accurate weight in the kayak with it wobbling around and stuff so it ain't worthwhile for me to weigh them Killer B seventy four outdoors with a super chat. Hey, Killer B, cash ten dollars. Hey, Justin, your channel is amazing, bud. Keep up the good work, partner. Just had two amazing offshore kayak trips here in Texas, and can't wait to see you down here. Oh, by the way, how do you say that again? Tawakani. Tawakani is legit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right, thanks, man. Appreciate the content, Cash. And I was actually just telling Pro Moderator here before we went live. We was talking about some trips, and I was like, here in the next year or two, I'm hoping to go down to Texas and. Try to make it like in it because it's such a long drive, I and mean, we're talking 15 plus hours for me to get anywhere worthwhile down there. Is make it like a two week adventure. You know, I'd like to fish with you, go down there and chase some sharks. I'd like to fish with Clint there, Circle Hook Productions. He's down there in Austin. And then I'd like to do the trip there with catching dinosaurs too and go up for some alligator gar. So I'd like to just take like a two week stretch of time and just hit some various places down through there. And so, Killer B, you definitely on my list to fish with whenever that trip happens. So Carl Thomason, who I am a Thomason, Carl, we might be related because most people don't spell it the same Does way he own that any we do. Power or just he might. I mean, I might leave it to him in my will if he's a relative. <laughs> Palmetto Cats, are you from South Carolina? We're trying to give Palmetto Cats yeah. a little bit of love since yeah. allegedly I may have not mentioned his super chat last time, which again, again, is on Google. And yes, me. he did miss the super chats. And yes, Palmetto Cats is in South Carolina. He fishes Santee Cooper. And he's got a pretty awesome YouTube channel. He's doing something different than a lot of other YouTubers. He's doing live streams, but he's interviewing people. He's doing a lot of challenges, like these Iron Man challenges where you're bank fishing until there's one person left, kayak fishing challenges, same as that. So he's incorporating a lot of you different YouTubers into the screen at the same time. It's pretty cool. So Jackson Cuozo, Cu Cuozo. Completely you butchered it. He's done. He's done. I'm sorry. What what is what is years. Pro Moderator and Justin's biggest largemouth bass? I'll let you answer because it's real good. He probably 21 cast, inches. I think's mine. He probably cast netted it. Yeah, well, I have cast netted <laughs> some bigger ones. The one on rod and reel, 21 inches though. 
So I caught my personal best actually with with Pro Neighbor in a tournament uh, down at Chick, and it was 24 and three quarter inches, and it was 10.4 pounds. So it was a double digit, and it was 24 and three quarter, and it was a total domination, maybe a record setting three fish tournament total. Win, win, win. That's what we yeah, do. He's uh, that was a good day for him. Where are you at in the point standings on the Hobie Tour right now? Thirteenth. I saw you dropped out of the well, top well, well within the Tournament of Champions. <laughs> yeah. They posted their update today, and his name wasn't on the update. Imagine that. <laughs> All right, Tom in for $10. He said Google. Tom in, thank you, he buddy. Said, Google Lake. Tawakany. Tawakany. Good thing catfish. I'm here. Catfish, no kidding. <laughs> Click on the images, huge, huge, huge blues. Loving all my kind catfish clothes. Well, thanks. Thanks for buying the merch, man. I appreciate it. I'm rocking the, the shirt here tonight. Got the old farmer's tan there. Check that out. Some of the women in the audience might like that. Sexy. sexy. Woo! Pretty uh, <laughs> pretty rough and pro monitor. I can't even get a t-shirt and was told I needed to visit the, what would you call it? ShopKayakCatfish.com. So you guys He's see. over here. Everybody's yeah. got the hand out. Even my monitor <laughs> right over here. Johnny Ramsey, no comment, $5. Thank you, Johnny. Good. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. There's Chunky Cats. I've seen his thing pop up. What's going on, Elf Stan? He's another one that's got a good live stream channel, too. Okay, Michaela Tanner says, having a hard time catching fish in South Georgia. I know they are spawning. Any tips? Best of luck. I have a hard time with the spawn. It is the hardest time of year, for me anyway, to catch big cats. So I, I say just put your time in, keep doing what you're doing, and the bites will come. Because the females, they're off the nest. They're always possible, so... Hanks, 1992, no comment, $25 content cash. Hanks, my man. Appreciate it, buddy. Love that content cash. Thanks for supporting the channel. Da, 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 da. So it's almost, it's 8.22, and... We're getting close to We're getting close to giving this reel away. You got a pro model, pro neighbor. You got a random number generator on your phone? I don't. You're useless to me. <laughs> Absolutely useless. I, totally I wasn't don't. here for the... Yeah, the meeting, but I'll give one. You got a black it. rifle, a coffee company t shirt. That's right. But you ain't got no random number killer, generator on your phone. Killer, 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 <laughs> Cause we're doing a giveaway tonight. I didn't know this. Killer, killer, <laughs> no, there's no memos. There's no pre planning. No. We just there's show no, up and no, wing it around here. Right That's now. how you roll around here. So killer B seventy four outdoors. I am buying a kayak catfish sweatshirt. Will you get me one while you're at it? Cause you ain't gonna <laughs> give me one. I promise you that. Hey man, I hope you like it. Appreciate you buying that merch, man. I don't even know why you need a sweatshirt down there in Texas. I don't think it gets under 80 degrees all year long. <laughs> so we've got 290 folks in the chat. Which wow, is good. 290. And, uh, We're at 327 here on the content cache. So. Jackson said his Pretty personal awesome. best was 6 pounds and 19 inches. Hey, man, that's nothing to laugh about, man. Yeah, I, mean, a, it's, I mean, that's everybody. That's a dang good everybody, fish. Everybody, it's a dang good fish, and everybody's kind of, you know, you got to start somewhere when it comes to that. And, um, you know, it, it kind of comes in, in stretches. Three three four outdoors for four ninety nine. When are you coming to Apalachicola? Best carp and catfish get in Florida. Okay. Well, thank you for the content, Cash. I don't know when I'll be going back to Florida again. I thought about going down there to ICAST. We talked about it a little bit here amongst ourselves to see if that was worthwhile for me to go down there and try to rub elbows with some people and whatnot. But uh, William, beyond that, I don't have any plans to go to Florida right now. William Macellis, I'm not sure he's talking about, says one of the very best fishermen on YouTube. I'm, I, well, I don't know well thanks. I know he's not talking about you. It's, it's got to be one of us. No. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Pro, Pro Neighbor. Neighbor. He's trending over here. Yeah, he's trending on the oh, yeah. Bassmaster Classic stage. Al, all game outdoors. What's up, kayak catfish? You ever get to southwest Missouri or southeast Kansas? Hit me up and I will show you some great flathead fish. Okay. Well, thanks for the invite. I'll Absolutely. keep you in mind if I'm ever Absolutely. out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. So. So how, what's our strategy on the random number generator? How are we gonna? Well, did you find one? I found one. How many? Okay. Oh. How many Here we go. Oh. Here we go, we folks. Go. Let's just go ahead and knock it out now. What do you say? Yeah. Te Texas Gold Bull says he loves your ultralight videos. They make my stomach hurt, but thank you for the comment on that. Well, thank you there. I hope I'm glad to, the uh, gulp minnows are working out. They're an awesome bait. So what we're going to do here on this real giveaway. So last time, CNC Outdoors, you can actually give it to us back in April. One of the Daiwa Seagate reels like I use, very generous of her to do that. So we gave it away in the last live stream. Problem is that person never claimed it. I've reached out to him twice. Neil on the response. So 
I was like, well, the last message I sent, I was like, look, man, we're going to give it away again on the next one if you don't claim it. So here we are again tonight. So pro neighbor one through 128, he's already got it on here. If you call out number 128, we're in trouble. <laughs> Because that's Brian Forrest. He got a free entry because he had a horse named Toby. Uh, Pro moderators giving it away. All right, you ready to go? Let's do that. Let's hit this. Live. Here we go. Generate. And that number is 69. 69. 69. That's Eric Thomas. No. (laughs) No, you can't call that number. Ryan. Same guy. Same guy. Won it again. I kid you not, people. Look right there. 66 (laughs) through 71, Ryan. He won the dang thing twice. Oh, my God. It's meant to be. (laughs) Ryan, if you're in the chat box tonight, you got five minutes here, buddy. We're going on to the next one. We're going to keep giving this thing away until somebody takes it tonight, my God. I I ain't doing another live stream. What are the The odds he won the damn thing twice? Unreal. How does that even happen? Ryan is the luckiest man alive, and he's never tuned in to another another YouTube episode. So finessing fired. him two times says he tried your corn method of chumming the water for carp. It sucks. It does. Okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. Hey. Did you watch the cicada video? That did not suck. Yeah, the cic- <laughs> Catch him on the cicadas right now, I guess. What was your strategy using the cow? Cattle cubes. Yeah. Cattle that cubes. looked like it worked, right? Yeah. That guy, uh, Henry, down there at Catching Alligator, or Catching Dinosaurs, the Alligator Guide Service, he uses carp all the time for bait. And so I found out about the corn and the range cubes and stuff from him because that's, that's all he uses, keeps it super simple. So, uh, hey, it's 1992. Um, said, your video from Santee Hatchery helped guide me to a spot that helped me land my team third place during this year's Monster Cat Quest. Keep up the great videos. Awesome. Team Thundercats, Wes. Awesome. Love the name, Team Thundercats. Love the cartoon as a kid. Congrats on that high finish, and I'll expect my royalty check, my commission check in the mail there from your winnings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little more super chat money from 1992 what we're looking for. Has Ryan showed up yet? No. Where the hell is Ryan, Ryan at? Ryan's like Toby. He's Poor Ryan. Ryan, he's, Ryan he's, could he's, be dead for all we know. Creature. Why was he scratched off of the... Uh, what, no. you, you can't put in a random number, 1 through 128, but but not number 66 through 71. Kelly right. McCoy says there's a catfishing tournament in Morgantown, Kentucky coming up soon. I think you would kick butt in it. Oh, I can't I can't compete against some boat guys in a cock. Oh, Ain't no way. Like a one-legged man in an ass-kicking contest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jake Lane says that for your bass tournaments, Justin, you should use a purple and black orange spinnerbait. They kill the bass. I couldn't do any worse with that. That's I guarantee you. I could that's not. That's a good point. That's You'd have to use more than six-pound test, though. Well, yeah, I probably would. Probably. Test. might give me a beetle spin on that six-pound test. Some random generator. <laughs> I hear you there, Samuel Dyson. Where the hell is Ryan? He said mm. some random generator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did a you did a lousy job, pro neighbor. What do we pay you for in here? You don't pay me anything. Palmetto kids. I can just walk fire next door to my house and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I am threatened. Danny Foster, everything about fishing in Wisconsin. I know there's some wonderful lakes up there. <clears throat> I you know, I don't have any plans to go up there, but I'm sure it's a wonderful state. <laughs> you know, y'all might lose Aaron Rodgers. I don't know how great a state it's gonna be after that. Charles Wesley says, is that a Dominion random number generator? Yeah, <laughs> good, that's a good comment. <laughs> it very well may be. Right, I got a comment on the night right there. Yeah, it could be. That's right. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Hank said he sent $25 royalty money. Just send that to me because that's the only way I've got a chance to get any kind of cash out of this. He'd blow it on some woman. So, right. So, 3-3 Outdoors is mixed sweet corn, boiled bird seed, Range cubes and sweet feed carp go crazy over it. That sounds like a lot of work. I ain't well, going to that kind like of effort on like no carp. At the Golden Corral. That's what it sounds like, like don't it? Involved in all that. <laughs> <laughs> I think my sponsor. I like Golden, Golden Corral, Corral there. Yeah, I've got the sun kissed over here. Before people start complaining about pro moderator needing a drink over here. Listen, he needs one after doing this super chat. Clay Hall says he's Ryan's on his son's phone. I don't know about that, Clay. Yeah. We're going to need you to log in to Ryan's account with the That's correct right. thim- thumbnail picture there That's right. to claim out real. We're about to give it away today, by God. Somebody's getting it, whether it's Ryan or somebody else that don't have numbers 66 through 71. You imagine if he gets picked again for a third time. We may have to give this thing away 12 times tonight. We're getting rid of it, though. I'm ready. It's Muddy funny. River Catfishing said that they heard onions make good catfish bait. Is that true? 
I think he's got a very popular video. He's got he's the OG on here, one of the original catfishmen on YouTube. He's got a very popular video about the onions. <laughs> so Dennis Farley with the 499 Super Chat. Justin, Thank you, Dennis. Justin, if I came from Texas for a once-in-a-lifetime catfishing trip, what time of year would you recommend? I would say May or October, November. Get the pre-spawn or get that fall bite. That's going to give you a good chance. And Weather's you, unpredictable. Current flow is unpredictable, but that's when the big ones are often caught. Yeah. So, so getting a lot of comments about how do we enter to win. So this was an older promotion that we did that was a free but not really raffle that we did that we got in a little bit of trouble for. Mm -hmm. um, and so we broke a lot of rules. We didn't know existed. Some YouTube rules, yeah. which can happen from time to time. So, um, so, so basically, we've got 128 entries, so to speak, and. Uh, Every time we pick a number, we go on somebody that doesn't exist or yeah. has been been in YouTube yeah. jail or something. So um, yeah, I keep hoping somebody would would uh, win this thing that actually has a a, a working account because Ryan has fell off the face there. He could be in jail. He could be dead. I don't know what's happened to Ryan, but he's gone. <laughs> so Texas Gold Bull wants to know how old you are, Justin. Thirty nine. Got a few months left before of my thirties before I. Start to get in his decade over here. Water Rat Lyle says they've been trying to send cash again. It keeps flagging it. Not sure what's going on, but I love your channel and wanted to see if you would give me a shout out and send some views my way. Here's your shout out. Here's Water shout Rat out. Lyle. He's got a YouTube channel. Probably one of the best of all time. If y'all want to check it out. Water Rat Lyle. So somebody, shout out. So, Woo! Somebody educate Water Rat on how the soup chat works. <laughs> <laughs> So, let's see. I lost one I wanted to read here. Cause, okay, so this finesse, uh, finesse them two times, was struggling with this carp chumming with the, with the corn, wants to know what else that they could do. I, I, and here's my thought. Back in the day when I carp fished, just straight up dough balls were as good as anything. So, you know, take a loaf of bread, wet it, dough ball it, put it on a hook and throw it out there. And if you're where carp live, there's a good chance you'll, you'll get into them. Yeah, what a, a big piece of advice I would give you, and I don't know what you're fishing out of if you're off the bank He's of the boat the or bank, off the bank. You can't okay. catch that far. So. Well, off the bank is challenging because what I'm doing when I'm finding them is I'm looking for them before I set up. I go find the carp and then I bait them. Well, let's check that. I you found them on the found cicada. the carp. Listen, let me give you all the credit here for all the success <laughs> of my channel. <laughs> but uh, no, what if you're fishing from the bank? One thing you can do is bait the hole for several days, get them coming in there, and, and knowing there's a food source there, and then go back and fish it. I think that's what a lot of the regular carp fishermen. Hey, do. I got an idea for you. What's that? Here's another one. Fire go check. Go road. check. That, that's a good one too. Well, I'm, I've got an email out to the HR department here at Kayak Catfish about that. Um, but check marinas. You know, marinas always. Yeah. A lot of them um, have feeders, or they feed the carp there, and uh, that's always a good place to check, um, especially in, in around some public areas around. Um, like I know around the river walk here, they they feed the heck out of the carp. They're everywhere. Okay. So it's just a just a little tip. I know when I was in Texas and when we were over in um, at Lake Hartwell, they were feeders on a lot of the docks and on some of the marinas, and they were feeding the carp, and they were everywhere. Okay. <laughs> well, there's your pro tip from Pro Neighbor. So we've right got there. two super chats here. Tommy in for ten dollars. Yes. Tommy he, in. He wants us to start an auction on the reel. He's going with two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I like your. I like, I your, like your style. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy, yeah. and I like it. Yeah. Leandro Gonzalez, I'll take Ryan's spot. With my luck, you won't hit the number the same number. <laughs> All right, well, right. thank you for the content, Cash Air Leandro. Ryan is the luckiest, unluckiest person ever, apparently. Wu Gonzalez says they got a kayak catfish shirt on right now. Yes. I mean, you're the most stylish person in this chat box right now. Guaranteed. We got $400 for the reel. I, I mean, man, I didn't even buy two reels for $400. You buy it, yeah. We'll sell it to you. Yeah, $5. if you can find them. They're hard to get right now. $5 VTLV Fishing. Much love from South Texas. Love your videos. Hope 
your new change in full-time fishing is amazing. I well, think he's done thank it. you for that content cache there. Fantastic. So far. Another one from Texas, too. I'm telling you, man, that, my yeah. channel's loaded with Texas. 903 bunch. Fishing with 499. Hey, brother, you ever Thank you, 903 Fishing. species. Come out to Texas, I'll put you on some monster crappy. 903 Fishing in house. Okay. I'll keep you in mind, all because I'm going to Texas here in the next year or two. That's on the plan, so. The Nesson two times said his dad was going to suggest a shotgun for the car. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe you should listen to your daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do, Mud Tramp. We do have a lot of Texans here tonight. I mean, Texans and Tennesseans, I think, have a lot of similarities. So I'm glad to see that. Got 302 people in the chat. It's 835. Okay, well, hell with Ryan. Let's do it again. All right. Ryan, go. buddy, if you ever watch this after the fact, <laughs> thanks, for the, thanks for getting in the raffle last time, but uh, you've, Ryan, you've blown your Ryan's chance. Gonna hate us from now on. I'll, Ryan will never watch my videos again. All right, you give me the countdown. Let's do it right now. Hit it. Generate. What we got now? Number 38. 38. This okay. Is this is going to be a good one. We Hold on. It. I'm looking. I'm looking. Becca Mud Trim. Yeah. <laughs> Look right here. All right. 26 to 45. Becca Mud Trim. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. I know Becca's in here too. I'm so happy she was. Yes. yes. You the yes. man, pro neighbor. Yes. You the man. Becca in the house. Becca, lucky number thirty-eight. That's, I, that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, that's how it's done. Your job here's done. Get the hell out, pro neighbor. Water, water. <laughs> yeah. Mud tramp says, "Woo, yeah. water rat Lyle figured it out for ten dollars." Hey, it, all right, water work. rat Lyle. Becca, I'm so happy you won this dang reel because I know you'll use it, and you have been the most generous supporter I have had on this channel for a long time. I mean, you have sent me so much money in every one of these live streams. So thank you so much. It couldn't have happened to a better person. So I promise it was truly random. We've tried three times now and I'm so happy it's you. So, so Tommy and I'll get with you at some point here in this stream or afterwards, I'll reach out to you there and we'll get you, we'll get your address and all that. Tramp. Thank you so much for participating. Awesome, awesome. Tommy N says, if you do a show in Texas, you'll kill it on subscribers. Okay. Well, I'm planning on it at some point in time. If it wasn't such a long drive, I'd go down there sooner, but it's going to take a coordination from me to get down there for a lot of at folks, least a couple of weeks. A lot of folks very happy that, that Mud Tramp won the reel. So Could not happen to a better person. Yeah. She is awesome. Uh, a yak cat drifter asks, do you fish in the shallows for blues or deeper for blues when it gets this hot? Well, funny you should ask that because I just spent three trips and they're going to be coming up. I think maybe on tomorrow's video will be the first video, but I have been fishing super shallow uh, lately. I mean, I'm talking three to five feet deep out here and uh, catching some fish. I think tomorrow's video, I'm wanting to say I got some decent fish in it, and, but numbers have been there in the shallows, so... Seeking the truth for ten dollars super chat always. Love Thank you. The seeking the truth. Streams. Always love the live streams. Well, you're one of the few who love them. We get a lot of complaints on these live streams, mostly about him. <laughs> Nobody not, complains about me. That's, that's inaccurate. That is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Maybe somewhat accurate. <laughs> yeah. Again, you get what you pay for. Yeah, you do. I don't pay him a dime, so that's what I'm stuck with. Uh, I guess Five T Outdoors is asking, have you ever fished in the in the TWA fishing lakes? And that's basically the most all we fish, isn't it? Well, they've got some like uh, stocked lakes out in Middle uh, Tennessee. Family fishing lake. Middle okay, I got you. Right. I don't live near any of them, but I would love to get out there. Uh, Randy Goad with Trout Magnet Man YouTube channel. He fishes, I think it's Shellcracker Lake out there in Middle Tennessee and catches some huge bluegill out of there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some uh, super got? chats. Super chat, all right. Whole sec four zero seven five four nine nine. Love the channel, brother. Congrats on going full time. Haven't missed a video in years. James Cable for five Thank you. is a Knoxville resident. What do Thank you, James. Do? What do I have to do to catch a catfish from the bank this time of year? I keep getting skunked with live cut bluegill. I'd switch up from the bluegill. First off, thank you to the person that we can't pronounce his name because whole whole a sec. I'm Holacek. I'm butchering you. I'm sorry. Thank you for the content cash. I've butchered your name. He's watched for years. will never watch again. I, I, um, I read that one just in case you... You guess. spelled it out. No, I said Holacek. 4075. Well, I can't pronounce it, but well, that's an awesome you. name. Holacek, Holacek. But back to James, buddy, I'd be using, try using some skipjack um, this time of year. Bluegill is kind of a hit or miss bait uh, for me. I catch decent numbers on it, but 
if you can get you some skipjack or some shad, that'll improve your odds. So Marshall Hunter's got a good question, and I might I might tackle this, and this might be a group discussion. Um, he says, can you go into more detail about why Tennessee river fish are not suitable to eat? Not living in Tennessee, I'm curious, and you mentioned it a lot, but never go into detail. Yeah, I'm not Google. I figure somebody's that interested. <laughs> oh, well, okay then. Well, Marshall, you heard, you heard, it, you heard it here first. I'm sorry, Marshall. It's a pet peeve of mine. People ask me these questions in the comments of every video, and I'm like, if they type that same question into Google, it would teach them and tell them everything more than than I could ever come up with. I'll give, I'll give you my my thoughts. There's there's a tremendous amount of fish consumed out of the Tennessee River system, whether it be crappie, catfish, walleye, bluegill. Um, I don't see people dropping like flies. I, I think it may be a little bit. I mean, you you eat fish out of loud when you catch crappie. Yeah. You know, so uh, you know it's it, you know again if you if you like catfish and you want to go through the process of catching and cleaning and, and fixing them, I, I don't see a major issue with it personally. I think it's almost like. An insurance program, just in case somebody does get sick from eating a catfish, they post those signs all over the place. So it, I, it has it, more to do with, with bioaccumulation of heavy and toxic metals in longer-lived fish fish species. So things like crappie that that grow fast, die fast, they're not going to accumulate as much of those toxins. But things that feed on the bottom, where some of those heavy metals can accumulate, that's where you can get some of those issues. And, and, if, and if, if you're eating it every day, and if it's a meal you're eating five or six times a week, then yeah, you. Can could probably get some mercury or get some lead um, accumulate, so it's probably not healthy our, for our, humans. But our, friend, our, our friend paid four ninety nine to get his name right. He said, "I'll pay the extra money to help you." It's Holacek. Holacek. Okay. It like Holaback Girl and check. We, well, can, we, we can do that. Okay. It's very simple. To say that when you, when you go Holaback Girl and check, yeah. that makes it Holacek. Yeah. Okay. Like to get checks and them Holaback Girls. It's all good. Well, thank you for the extra content, Cash. Charlie and Kimberly Hare for ten dollars. Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Love the content. Hit your channel as soon as I get in from work daily. Congrats on being able to go full time doing what you love. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your support, Char both Charlie and Kimberly Hare. Thank you so much. And I'll touch on the, the contamination again, too. We had in, in Kingston, Tennessee, the biggest ecological disaster in United States history a few years back with the Kingston coal ash spill. You can Google that, and it was a disaster. And anything downstream from there, I don't care what they say about how they got it all out or percentage of it out, a lot of that stuff settled down to the bottom. And where are catfish at? On the bottom lot. We pull them up all the time, mud all over them. These are older fish, like Pro Neighbor alluded to here. Take your own risk. I ain't eating them. I ain't doing it. I ain't going to my body. I'll drink this sun kissed here with the high fructose corn syrup, but I ain't putting no catfish we're, in my we're body. Going, we're going, me and Kai, Kai Catfish and my sister, who, who loves to eat catfish, we're going to do a, what are we going to do? A catch to, catch and to cook. cook. We're going to do it. We're gonna go to the garden, get some vegetables. I'm gonna fry that catfish up, and if we turn different colors, you'll know what happened to it. Yeah. So, metal-faced <laughs> hurtle, ten dollars from Kansas. She's going fishing tomorrow at Turtle Creek Reservoir. Wish me luck, Justin. Love your. Channel. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you for the content, Cash. What was the name on that again? Myrtle. Metal-faced hurtle. Man, that's or a tongue myrtle, twister. Or myrtle. I mean, myrtle, myrtle for myrtle, short, myrtle. but metal-faced <laughs> hurdle. Thank you for the content, Cash. Good luck tomorrow. <laughs> Mario Zepeda, thanks for all the great content. I know you I butchered think. that name. I think I've nailed it. Mario Zepeda. Z-E-P-E-D-A. I mean, I'm not a complete right. idiot. I'll you go know. with it. I mean, I'll, you you're know. close. I mean, I'm I mean, close. Mario are. Zepeda. Now, if you really want to go Hispanic on him, Mario Zepeda. I'm getting flagged Cancel. for racism. <laughs> Cancel culture is Thanks getting me on this. Thanks for all the great content, my friend. It has taught me a lot on how to properly fish, which in turn has given me the skills to get my young son out and enjoy the sports. Well, oh, that's awesome. That's good. All right. Well, thank you, Mario. I hope you and your son have some great adventures together. And Mario, please tell me if I got your name right, because I want to <laughs> make a point. Fred W. wants to know how the garden is, Mr. Green. Wonderful. Wonderful. I just did an update here on Sunday. Picked my first zucchini out yesterday. Got four of them. Got some little cherry tomatoes. Got some banana peppers. So it's it's coming together now. It's that time of year. It's going to be producing every day. Steve Seller says, I'll review from the beginning, but I'm on now. I live in Indiana, right? Better late than never, buddy. Better late than never. Okay, all right. 
We started this party at eight o'clock on the dot. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Very good. Very good. You ever been to Mississippi to fish from Stephen M.? I've been to Mississippi one time in my life. Went down to the casinos there in Tunica back in the day. I ain't never been down there to fish, though. Figure they got enough money out of me on that casino trip. <laughs> you got 311 folks in the chat. And 437 in Super Chats so far. Right. That's pretty dang good for 44 minutes. Let's get us, let's get us These up. people are making it rain on me. I feel like a, a what's a, what's, give me a, a sapphire at the mouse's ear. <laughs> That's a strip club here in Knoxville, for those of you who maybe not familiar with this area. Sapphire or diamond, you know. Call me whatever you want. The price is right. <laughs> I'm canceled. Cancel culture got me again. Yeah, that's going to be, yeah, we're going to get. I just need a mute button on you. So, yeah, yeah. We can't censor that, ladies and gentlemen. So. Steven Siller says he spent a week in Mississippi one day. I understand that. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, uh, Nathan Schneider wants an honest review on the sumo rods, liking them still. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm using, he's got three different rods. He's got the original chopstick, which I'd used a few years back. Really nice quality rod, but the tip is too soft for my needs. I just don't, great rod, but I don't like it for what I do. It's more of what I would say fish that are smaller, you know, 15 to 20 pounds. It, it's Got the backbone to handle better quality fish, but it's really suited more for smaller fish. The model I'm using is the Master Series 2.0, and it's kind of a great all-around rod. It's, it's light enough action that you can catch any fish on it and be fun, but it's got enough backbone that it's gonna handle anything. And those are currently back-ordered after we made that announcement with me signing that deal with him. We thought we had enough rods ready Within 24 hours, they were gone. I mean, people were just ordering left and right. It was amazing. But the downside is he ran out. And right now there is raw material shortages everywhere throughout the globe. And so it's looking like August. Hopefully we're going to have some more in. It had something to do with the epoxy. Whatever that clear coating is on the outside of the rods, you just can't get it in, in, in high volumes right now. So whenever that gets back in, we're going to have some more rods. Looking like August, though. And he has another rod, which is the... 150 series, that is a heavy action rod. I mean, that thing can deadlift 150 pounds. I've got a couple of them. The plan was to use them when I go fish uh, for sharks over there in North Carolina, which I don't know if that trip's gonna happen or not. I haven't been able to get all the details squared away and coordinated. I thought I was gonna go over there by now, but uh, my plan is to use them over there, but they can handle anything, can chunk huge baits with them. I've casted baits over a pound with them things, so they're pretty awesome. But yeah, loving the catfish sumo rods. It's, it's really working out. And if he gets some inventory back in stock, he might actually profit off having me on his uh, on his company now. What's your coupon code for your sumo orders? Uh, yeah, the coupon code, type in the word kayak. They get you 10% off and free shipping off any order for any deal. And that's true whether you spend hundred dollars on rods or you spend you know five dollars on a pack of hooks it's free shipping and and the discount code works so. bumblebee junction super chat for five dollars could you please bumblebee share, could you please share your thoughts on channel catfish with us <laughs> oh <laughs> bumblebee watches enough to know my thoughts on a, on know, a channel cat mm -hmm. i'm gonna have some in, a re in an upcoming video i did an ultralight trip and uh caught two damn many of them things Wu <laughs> gonzalez asked what do you use to catch skipjack uh, thank you for the comment. Well, I use mostly jigs. I like the crappie magnets, uh, but any marabou jig, crappie fly, you know, whatever. And I like the sumo spoons. I troll with the spoons till I find them, and then I, I key in on them with the jigs. But those are my two primary baits that I use. Sabikis? I use the sabiki some. I basically tie my own. The sabikis yeah, have got like five doing? or six different flies, and you get one, you get one skip of them flying around and get that thing tangled up, and I spend five minutes cussing it, so I just tie my own. <laughs> Brian Roche says, "Do you ever use lures for blues?" I do not. No, um, I have toyed with the idea of it some. I thought about taking some swim baits, basically like uh, soft plastic swim baits, tipping it with a small piece of cut bait, so that you have a scent trail from the cut bait and having a larger profile bait, but I really haven't played around with it too much. So Lake Trout King for 499 says, his six-year-old son Noah loves catfish and wants to catch a whopper like kayak catfish man. Can you give Noah a shout out? He's a big, big fan of yours too. 
You know what, Noah? I hope you get that big catfish. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, buddy. I hope you get you a golly whopper on your next trip out. Corey Honeycutt asks a very interesting question. That oh, we, Corey. That we, that we have talked a little bit about. Okay. I'm put you on the spot. You love it when that happens. I huh? love being on the spot here, Corey. I, here we Corey, go. Corey says she loves what you're doing. When are we going to do a fan fish along? A fan fish along. You know, that's one of them things. Just <laughs> <laughs> taking 20 time at 20 yeah, time. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Everybody, you Corey, know. Let me, let me Corey, let me tell you. Corey, yeah. you, you've opened up a can of worms here. <laughs> no, it's something we're talking, we're trying to, we're trying to put something together. Maybe like when I go somewhere, taking along people or having them come with me type deal. Problem is, I'm, I'm very, you know, I was a nurse before this whole YouTube thing, working the ER. You know, coming from that world, what do you hear all the time? I'm suing your ass. And so it's a very litigious society, and I would hate for somebody, me to take somebody out, be filming, be making money from the trip, and that get turned around, you know, to where I'm liable for somehow or another. Because I'm not licensed as a guide. I don't have insurance for that kind of thing. Have no desire to do so. So there's some... Liability there that scares me. Corey, um, we're we going to work it out. We're going to make it happen. Just yeah. just stay tuned. we we running yeah. some Plug games. Power Man over here. Yeah. He's like, there ain't no amount of money. He, That's right. He'll just pay it off. <laughs> That's right. I'll, <laughs> I'll be your insurance company. Tom N. has done two separate $10 Super Chats with Tom two separate N. comments. So okay. The first one is, I've been fishing a lake and river close to work that was contaminated by the potash mines on the Texas-New Mexico border. I think the pollution killed most of the game fish. Okay. And well, uh, I'm he, sorry to hear that. Yeah, he we've, we've been through that here with the coal ash too. And, it's, and he says, um, uh, he says this because he's catching 50 to 20 inch shad and seven inch minnows in his cast net, only catching carp, turtle, no bass, no catfish. Yeah, that's terrible. Um, and then three, three, uh, four. Was that uh, both his comments? That was both his comments. Okay. Yeah, it was almost kind of like one. I don't know why it did the way that it did. It may have cut him off or something. Google. Google. Damn so, Google. Um, you know they they run the world. Three, three, four outdoors is asking, do you ever fish directly below dams? Uh, a little bit, not when they're generating. I can't get up there when they're generating, but if I go out and somebody in their boat, I've been you know up there catching skipjacks and stuff, but I, not something I do regularly. Big McLarge Huge is shocked that you're a nurse. He didn't think that you were that smart. <laughs> I'm he, good at standardized tests. Yeah, he, he didn't say. He, just, he, just, he said he always wondered what you did. I just added a little color to that. Zach Daimler for four ninety nine super chat. He has a musky bump board. How do you keep your board from folding in your kayak? Okay, uh, thank you for the content cache there, Zach. So what I use is uh, I think it's called aluminum C channel. If you go to my Facebook page and find the old post, it's I, I'm wanting to say it's quarter inch, but it fits perfectly, fits snugly over those hinges. And so if your pieces are long enough to extend the gunnel of, across the gunnel of your kayak, it gives it a lot more support and it'll keep it from caving in on you there. In my Hobie kayak, I actually put a board under it and that mm -hmm. gave it a lot more support. But in my old town, that's not possible. So I just used the, the C channel there to lock the hinges with. Oh, here's a shout out. We got a couple of super chats, but I'm gonna skip this. this. is a little bit more important. Wayne, I'm sorry, Waylon Hunter. Love the videos, brother. Watching from Afghanistan, U.S. Army. Have a great day. Oh, well, thank you for watching from over there. Thank you for what you do. Hope you make it home safe. Hope you don't have to stay over there too long, but thank you for your service. And I appreciate you watching. Bumblebee Junction for $5 super chat. If Dieter catches a channel cat and Dave isn't there to hear it, is it still worth it? <laughs> That's the comment of the night right there, Bumblebee. <laughs> I know, you got That's the comment you to, of the you night. You have to clue us in on that one because that doesn't well, make any sense so, to me or everybody so, else watching. <laughs> well, all these people know. Oh, Dieter, <laughs> Dieter posts videos all the time of catching catfish with jello and... See the um, strawberry chicken? Strawberry guy? chicken, blah, okay, blah, blah. And catfish Dave and him are kind of on the outs and so yeah there's that I, I try to stay i get enough drama of my own i try to stay out of other people's but that's the comment of the night right there <laughs> i've got a thank you for your medical service dude um i've got a nine, my, my services are overrated i, I promise right, that's you. a fact i've got a 99 cent no comment super chat from riot um thank you riot Corey's, I appreciate it, buddy. Corey, thanks us, thanks us for answering her question. She understands that. But like I said, we're still kind of weighing some 
possibilities in that. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll, in that, in that we're going to try to work out something because I do want to do some stuff with people. I mean, Lord Almighty, I've got what has turned into the best job in the world right now because of those of you who are watching. It's just On I get I have the worst job in the world, yeah. just in case anybody was wondering. Yeah, nobody was wondering. It pays, but. It, it, it pays, it pays really well, I do want to do some stuff with people. Just, you know, it's just unfortunate. I can't do stuff with everybody, and I don't know the best way to go about it. Trevor Dorsett has commented 87 times wanting to know if we would use hot dogs as catfish bait just even on one rod. No. <laughs> no. Did you get that, Trevor? Yeah. No. 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 Not 87 no. times. No. It was 86 too many. That's right. <clears throat> Derek Stein says maybe a meet and greet at the catfish conference. I think we missed our window of the catfish yeah, conference. Yeah, it'll be next, probably next winter there. Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got about a second lag, it looks like, from a couple of comments. But, hey, hashtag Google. We're lagging again. Hell, we're in, we did this live stream tonight from Eric's house because every time we go out on the water, if there's somewhere worth fishing, <laughs> you got you got one bar or cell phone service, and we buffer you. the whole time. <laughs> so we're in here from Casa de Thomason, and we're still buffering. I got to give a shout-out to my main homeboy in New Port Cock County, Tennessee, hashtag TLT. He gives a shout out to me and to Pro Neighbor. Yeah. He ain't shouting me out? No, he's not a fan. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> block. Whoever that is, block. <laughs> That's just That's a joke. Our That's service. just a joke. That's he, a good he, man. Yeah, he loves you. Anthony Moore for twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars, Anthony Moore. Yeah, he's, What's he got to say? He's done he's done put you up here with YouTube royalty. He said, really? Justin, Justin, you've climbed into my top two YouTubers with Richard Jean. Richard Jean. Keep up the awesome content. What fish is on your bucket list? Oh, man, I got a bunch of them. Uh, knocked sailfish off back there in February. That was my number one, but I'd love to catch an alligator gar. I'd love to catch a shark, any type of shark from a kayak. Uh, those would definitely be my top two at this point. Well, but thank you for the content, Cash, and and uh, I don't know, maybe if you got a direct line to Richard Jean, he won't respond to me, but maybe he'll respond to you. Maybe me and him could do something together. Russell, <laughs> Russell Berry asks, when suspended fishing in a heavy current, would you ever consider using lead core line on the upper lead. rods? Lead. Lead, lead. Um, lead. I mean, I I don't ever fish heavy current. If it's so heavy current that I need lead core line, I'm probably not going to be out there in a the kayak. So I probably wouldn't consider it, but, you know, it'd be something to play with probably. I don't know anybody that's doing it, but I'm, I'm sure it would work. Mud Tramp says she can't stop smiling. You oh, that's awesome, Mud Tramp. You make my night every time I'm on here and you and you throw all this money at me, so I'm, I'm really happy you won, Becca. It's going to happen to a better person. Same. Ryan, poor Ryan missed out, though. Won it twice. <laughs> Didn't claim it either time. Damn Ryan. <laughs> Over two. All right, let's see. Um, have you ever fished Lake Cumberland from Samuel Maxfield? I have not. Maybe someday. It's on the other side of the state out there. Tennessee's now, a long state. I'm now, on the east side. Now this is this like is, the Jefferson. This is, this is kind. Of, this is kind of subscriber, fan, customer that you want. Dominique Brooks, I'm addicted to your channel. I let your videos play even when I'm not watching, so you get the view time. Yes, <laughs> yes, I like you, Dominique. We should give you some super chat. Yeah, <laughs> you making me a lot with them advertisements, oh, letting them things play. <laughs> That's okay, awesome. uh, we've had several uh, comments, I think, from different people about your rod holder setup. Okay. Can you just kind of talk about, are they Scotties? And I know you kind of did some custom work, and I know what you've done when we take the Hobie out. So. Yeah, I've been getting, I see that a lot of comments, and we've covered it in like three videos, but, you know, it, it, it falls by the wayside. You know, you're as good as your last video on YouTube. But my rod holder setup is a two by four. That's all it is. I painted it black to make it look a little better. But I laid a two by four across the rails of my kayak, cut it so it fit there, drilled some holes and ran me a bolt. And the head of the bolt will slide in the gear tracks, but it but it won't pop out. And then you can just take some furniture knobs. I picked them up at Lowe's for like $3 with a female thread and screw that down there over the bolt and it locks it down in place. And then on the two by four, you know, you can put your rod holders, you can put your fish fire, Finder, you know, camera holders, whatever you want, you can mount it on there. And I've just bolted through my Scotty rod holders, the bases, to that two by four. But you know, it's it's a it's a ten dollar mount, and it's better than anything that's currently sold in the kayak accessory world. So, 
Matthew Newell says, hello, I was wondering what you think about the slip sinker rig. I don't ever use it much. I was, you know, doing some shallow water fishing here uh, this past week and I'm just fishing under a balloon and I just set the, the length. But, you know, a lot of people do it. I just don't. It ain't something, I ain't in my repertoire. <laughs> Adrian Riley wants to know if you hunt. I do not. I'm pretty much fishing only. It's hard to get motivated to go hunt when the best fishing there is in the fall. So, so uh, Texas Gold Bull, would you recommend the Old Town Autopilot? What are your cons? Well, I like the kayak. There's a lot. I love the concept, first Time of all. Out. Time out. I mean, what Cat, you... Catfish Reaper, $25. $25. And the best comment of the night. Oh, no, we got Let's give now. a shout out to the super moderator. <laughs> yeah, okay. I get that $25. That's, that's mine. First off, thank you for the content, Cash. That's the worst comment of the night, though. Way but, to go, uh, Catfish Reaper. Uh, Catfish Reaper, thank you for the content. Cash, I'm keep glad you like talent. my moderator. Keep I'm glad you do. Thank you, you, you're the much. only one that, that likes him. That's right. But uh, back to the autopilot. Yeah, the, the autopilot. The uh, it's awesome concept, and I think the second or third generation of it's going to be amazing. But this model that I have, I can't even hardly use the features of it, like the spot lock, the course heading, things like that, because the noise of it, the beeping, not the motor noise, but the beeping noise picks up on the camera and it drives people, drives me insane on the water and drives everybody else insane. So that's probably the biggest flaw that I would give it. They work that out. Everything else is tolerable with it. But it's, you know, it's got some kinks and that's true. You know, when you've got a brand new model first year, you're going to have problems. Hell, the Hobie Pro Angler, it's the most popular kayak on the market. The floors cracked in the first models I and mean, they were cracking around the bases. You know, when you get your product out there to the masses, you start finding problems and you correct it. So I think in the next year or two, Old Town will get that kayak dialed in and it'll be amazing. But, you know, I, I wish I could use the features and not cause me camera problems. It's very frustrating for me. Hope that answered your question. The kayak itself though, it's super stable. Got a lot of room. Yep. The dog snoring there. Dixie. <laughs> Dixie said she's bored to death. Yeah. She's I can't bring my dog up here. We don't he's not allowed here at Eric's house. He he wants to fight everybody. So Roscoe won't be here tonight, but Dixie and Sookie are here. Jeff Nakuza, four ninety nine. Hey, thank you. I've been appreciate the four ninety nine. I've been in emergency department of healthcare for thirty years and thank you for your work. It's rough. Well love your videos and uh, thank you for getting me back into fishing. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate that. I don't know how you've stuck it out thirty years. I was in it from 2009 until a few months ago here, and it's uh, I, to say I was burnt out was an overstatement. So I feel you, man. Thank you for the content, Cash. Right, our Newport buddy wants us to do a James River smallmouth catfish beatdown. That sounds like this is the guy who don't like me. But like no, you. no, he likes you. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't like you? You're That's like true. Seinfeld. There's a lot who of people. Not like you. There's a lot of people that don't like me. Believe me. We see the comments. I don't see them anymore. I got a moderator, but. Uh, That's right. Uh, let's see. What are we at here? We're at $560 in content cash. You Bud believe that? Bud Brutus for $24.99. Bud Brutus, $24.99. He says, hey, Justin, with this summer heat, should I downsize my baits? Well, you know, that's a good question. Um, I have always been in the mindset in the summertime, water's warm, metabolism's high, I upsize my baits. But I did talk to a fellow recently, and, and he's caught a lot of big fish. He's got a whole uh, camera, a whole phone full of big fish. He said he downsizes his baits in the summer. He uses really small baits. So I don't know. I thought I'd tinker around with that a little bit. But, you know, I, the best thing you can do is put out multiple baits and vary your sizes. That way, whatever they're interested in a particular day, you got your bases covered. Hammer Moro says he's watched your videos since you've been on YouTube and you've got the best job in the world, but keep them coming. Well, That's thank great. you, man. Appreciate you watching me. Aaron Mitchell for $10. Aaron just, Mitchell. Just saying thank you. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. I got a lot of good people in here tonight, man. Mike Harvey asks if you ever change your schedule up to go in the evening instead of the morning, and I know the answer to that because we've done some of both. Yeah, I mean, weather, if, if the weather knocks me out in the morning, I'll go out in the evening, but 
You know, part of doing YouTube full time, especially the way I'm going about it, is trying to crank out the content. And so for me, I need a schedule. I need, uh, these are the hours I'm fishing, these are the hours I'm editing. And this is my downtime, to spend time with the girlfriend, to get away from the phones and the cameras and stuff. And so morning hours works better for me. The other issue I run into in the evening is pleasure boat traffic, yacht club. You know, those people piss me off out there and it takes away from the video. And then once you do, ideally this time of year, I'd like to go out at night, it's cooler. The fish are biting good at night because you know, we got some current flow in the evenings, but I can't get people to watch my nighttime videos like they do the daytime stuff. So. The morning hours are most convenient, get the best views, and it suits my schedule. So there you go. There's the, there's the long answer to a short question. We've got um, 332 people. Wow. In the chat. Well, we're 64 minutes here. Yeah. Uh, We've been going at this a while. Aaron Mitchell. You gonna bring anything to it tonight, Pro Neighbor? Well, I was gonna, I was, I was, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna say, you know, you got two of the best, you know. PKAs in the bass fishing community sitting here right next to each other. Well, I just don't give a crap about bass We know we, you prefer catfishing, but if you got some bass fishing specific questions, I mean, Daniel's trending, he's coming off a great finish, and I'm having a good season, so, you know, um, yeah. we're happy. Shout out, shout out to all the Texas guys. I just got off Possum Kingdom. It is the best big bass lake I have ever fished. There you go. And he knows. You know how he knows? Because he caught the biggest bass in that tournament. 24 and a half. 24 and a half, 17 minutes in a day one. It is a monster. It Did you have your scale? Did you get to weigh that fish? No, I think it's about, I think it's pushing nine and a half pounds. I, I bet it was more than that because it, it, it was big. And then with, with two minutes left of the entire tournament, I hook up to a six pounder and pretty much solidify my place on that stage. So it was a, it was awesome. And I lost another fish 45 minutes before the end of that tournament. That was at least a, another 10 pounder. It was I just mechanically couldn't stop it. Danny it K. Foster, he said, uh, he, and I think we've had a couple people ask, have you ever snapped a rod while landing a fish? I have not, no. I I have, uh, well, I'll take that back. I did break one of my bass rods on a boat landing, a skipjack, <laughs> and I've clipped some on bridges that have, uh, I've went under, but no, not on a big catfish. So Mark... Bashil. You've butchered that name too. You're fired. Where's Palmetto Cats? Is Kevin still here? Please fire him. Kevin will, I bet Kevin would moderate for me. Hey, man, you, know, you get what you pay for. Tennessee I mean, public it's, education. That's right. All right. What so, was his question? You butchered his name. Well, so the guy's from Iowa. I'm trying to get him a break. Oh, yeah, he's you know, from it's Iowa. in Iowa. But, and, I, and I know a little bit about this because I lived up there. Whew, that was rough. Um, he said, love the videos. Congrats on going big time. I'm learning to fish the Mississippi River in Iowa, much shallower and a bit faster than the Tennessee River. Thoughts on where to try for bigger cats? Well, I can't really give you any information on that, but I'll tell you what I do is, is check out Float Fish Adventure because he's from Iowa, fishes, catches some huge flatheads up there. And uh, I know he's fishing like visible log jams and brush piles, and he'll he'll tie his kayak off to them things and drop baits down, like down into these log jams and pull out some monster flatheads. So he would be a good resource for you to check out since he's up there in your area, fishing the same waters and catches monsters. We All got right. pro neighbor here. I am taking over this thing. Well, so by God, you can't do we, any worse. We, that's true. We what got, are you, what are you doing? You getting liquored from, up on the job? I am, I'm, I'm having a little nightcap here. You ain't on, my God. I'd like my sponsor, everybody, if you hadn't tried this, this is good stuff. I got kids watching. Barrel seagrass, it's part of the dovetail, I think. Um, Only if you're over 21, folks. Louisville, Only yeah, if you're over right. 21. Louisville, Kentucky. Well, when you get a little bit older, you might need that. You know, I worked in, I worked in Louisville, Kentucky one time. One of the worst jobs I ever had. Yeah. As a nurse? Yeah, travel nurse. Which hospital? I ain't going to say it on here, but it was, uh, I, just, I ain't going to bash them on here, but it wasn't a great experience for me. Okay. You won't ever see me up there again. Right. Well, Hopefully I'll we'll never do it again anyway. But. That was a great question. All right, so here's a bass fishing question that came in from Texas <laughs> Gold Bull. I just pissed off all of <laughs> <laughs> So he said, what did he catch him on? I, I'm assuming he was asking, talking about the fish I caught on. Uh, look at, look at Pro Neighbor over here. Scrolling through the comments <laughs> and cherry picking for himself. That's right. <laughs> So um, those it's fish, day in the sun. that is a, a really clear water lake, but I think it, and everybody in Texas knew there were some flash floods a little over a week ago. So it muddied up the water and whenever I had about two hours to pre-fish, I caught all those fish uh, fairly shallow on um, one on that OG Slim and the second crankbait that I really caught them well on was a uh, Strike King Hard Knock. 
in just a regular shad color. And I had to crank it really, really slow. But what was really helping that bite is that wind would kick up. Everybody knows about Texas wind, but as that Texas wind would kick up in the afternoon, my bite would turn on and there was one rock off this point and I probably caught 15 fish and 15 casts off of that one rock. They were just loaded up, so it was great. I'm sure we're getting some hate now. No, you really are. I'm bored out of my mind here hearing about this bass fishing crap. And your bass fishing reflections. I'm like, I probably shouldn't read this when I'm going to because it's funny. Marcus Lynn says he saw Catfish Dave on the back of a milk jug. <laughs> <laughs> Also, Ryan's there too, right? <laughs> yeah, he's right there with Ryan. Where the hell is Ryan at? He won that damn reel twice. Oh, um, I don't know who this Jared O is, but he's he's basically replacing me as a moderator. He says Kevin would be a great moderator. He's a pro. Not yeah. saying your current mods aren't good too, but you Kevin, go ahead and say it or not. Kevin is next level. I don't know yeah. who this is. Kevin. Get Palmetto cats. Oh God! The one you super chatted and missed. No, the whole... that was Google. That was no, that yeah. was you. Hey, yeah, I, I don't mm -hmm. know about this Palmetto cat guy. Yeah, <laughs> on private. Oh, uh, we'll know about uh, our Newport friend. We'll know about the dark sleepy. If that's how how it. does this Newport guy keep <laughs> making his way into the chat box? He gave me a turkey for my birthday. It was the most delicious piece of meat I've ever had. So mm -hmm. I'm going to give him. I heard you like your meat, all right. I like the meat. <laughs> all right, Bud Brutus, fourteen ninety nine super chat. One more question, Justin. Bud live versus frozen baits. What? What was it? Live versus frozen. He, live, yeah, he was, live versus frozen. He, yeah, he's asking, would you prefer live or frozen? Uh, That's what he's trying to ask. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on where I'm at. Live, you know, frozen bait. The only frozen bait I use is skipjack. Everything else, the bluegill, the shad. I just don't do worth the crap on it. But frozen skipjack, I've caught a lot of really good fish on frozen skipjack. Um, but live bait's kind of one of them things for me. It's kind of a, a hit or miss deal. I don't use live bait very much, so I would probably go with the frozen skipjack over a live bait most of the time. <clears throat> you having private conversations over there? Well, I was going to read something and it disappeared. I, some one of our one of our what do we call them? Our Moderator, like you. My moderators have, have, have cut somebody off. But. Good. I, see, I've got me like but 10 but or 12 Palmetto, moderators. My man, Palmetto Cat, says it's okay, Eric. You're doing awesome tonight. Okay. You don't... How about, listen, how about some more Super Chat? Money, listen, Palmetto Cat? Kevin, know. you don't have to lie to him. <laughs> don't, tell him. Give him a harsh reality of evaluation here. Let him know how bad he sucks. Because I tell him all the time how bad he sucks. I'm trying to motivate him to do better here. Well, we got five hundred eighty-five dollars here tonight, though. By God, well, let's just get on up to four fifty. I mean, that's that's awesome. We're nine twelve, an hour and twelve in. We got three hundred people still here. Uh, Mud Tramp says she, that she wanted reel and um, from CNC Outdoors. Yeah, now she's got four more reels, and she is very, very, very happy. Hashtag awesome. I'm on cloud nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on cloud nine that you won, and the fact we're finally giving it away and getting Jared, that off Jared my to-do list. Jared O is two dollars away from getting blocked because he said that's money to hire Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Kevin must be cheap. <laughs> two bucks. <laughs> Bumblebee says they're willing to moderate. They're cheap, but not easy. Well, well I mean, it's not as easy as you guys think. I'm just going to go on record and say that, but yeah. it's all good in the neighborhood. Probably Kevin, easier if you hadn't had three drinks already tonight, but hey, man, that's I, what I'm here for. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, um, a couple of people have said River Certified is a really good channel. I'm not familiar with Oh, that. yeah, he's blowing up. Is that there, Iowa? Is he well is a very Iowa. Iowa. Yeah. Iowa River Certified, mm -hmm. so I know. There's some good ones. There's a guy in North Dakota that you like to watch, too. A&D Yak Angler, yeah. So long, we've got a little bit of a lull. Who are some YouTubers that you kind of enjoy watching? Well, uh, YouTubers that I watch, I'm a terrible YouTube friend because I don't watch anybody uh, exclusively or, I mean, regularly. I'm just kind of a, I see this, click on it type thing because, you know, I spend so many hours editing fishing videos. The last thing I want to do when I'm done is watch more fishing videos, but I watch uh, Trout Magnet Man, Randy Goad, because I'm a big fan of him. I want to fish with him at some point in time. Um, I watch Indy Yak Angler. He's a makes really good videos, probably as far as produced from kayak fishing uh, videos, probably one of the best there with him. Um, you know, not fishing related, but I follow Jim Cornette, old wrestling, uh, podcaster now, the former wrestling manager, done everything. I like his stuff. 
I've been watching some of, uh, this is stupid, people are gonna judge me right here, but Elsa Ray, her and her boyfriend, they live in this scamp trailer. What's a scamp trailer? It's like a very small RV. I mean, like 10 foot long. And they've been living in this thing for years. And they've recently bought some land, I think in Colorado or somewhere. So I watch them because, you know, they're all the time going to these uh, various, what do they call it? Uh, public land, public national forest, public land or something they can stay at. And so they've got some pretty cool stuff. And I watch them. But I kind of just, you know, just sporadically uh, watch people. Elias V. Fishing, you know, I was supposed to be going to fish with him at some point. I watched some of his stuff. Because he's, he's somebody that's kind of like me. He He's very makes good videos but he's a very competent fisherman he's going out there when he's making a video he's going out there to fish and catch fish and so i appreciate that really like mike baker uh, he's a crappie fishing channel uh excellent you learn something every time you watch one of his videos so there's a few guys that i watch regularly content cash from havoc master 69 havoc hours. master he wants to know are monster rod holders not made for kayaks you can put them on uh, kayaks. A lot of people do. I've got some friends in the kayak catfishing tournament world that use monsters. It's just you're going to have to you're going to have to make a base that fits the you know the gear tracks or mold it into your hull. My problem with and nothing against monster rod holders, they're amazing, but but what I don't like about that metal rod holder style, whether it be monster or driftmaster or whatever is that if you have a failure with your reel, maybe your drag sticks or, you know, whatever. I want, I use plastic rod holders, I use the Scotties because I want them to break. I want them to fail. I, what I don't want is my kayak to be the piece that fails if there's a problem. Because you crack your kayak hole, that's a very expensive, that's a very expensive day. So, you know, rod holder, a rod and reel combo, much cheaper to replace than a kayak. And those metal rod holders, they ain't given if something goes wrong. So that's my thoughts on that. But again, quality products from all of them. So Samuel Maxfield asks, what do you think about the Abu Garcia reels, the 6600 SX and the 5500 SX? Are you familiar with those reels? No, I've, all the Abus I've used are the C3s and they're great quality. I never had any problems. I used some of the Abus for years and never had problems with them. But. Wayne Burnett Outdoors. You fish Wayne Burnett. Are you fishing any more kayaks and cats tournaments? Probably, yeah. Uh, I took, I fished them slot tournaments there. Of course, you know, um, March and April, I think it was, or maybe it was April and May. I can't remember, but uh, I get tired of measuring them fish. Them slot tournaments, you know how it is, man. You got to measure 100 plus fish over the course of the month, and I just get tired of measuring the damn things. But I may, I'm on the fence about this King Cat tournament coming up. It is in July. I think your dog just farted over here, by the way. But uh, I might have to move here in a minute. But uh, they're doing the King Cat tournament, they're giving away a championship belt. And so it's going to be over the course of July. I may have to jump in on that. I don't know. There's a wrestling reference. You know, I like, you know, I'm a wrestling fan from the 80s and 90s, man. And me having a championship belt, I could cut so many great promos and have an excuse to do it. Off the bottom, about the same thing as the Demon Dragon setup. Same, same deal. Uh, Demon Dragons are overpriced, in my opinion, and they're just, uh, it's a... Let me go on record, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is overpriced. Yes. Is a I'm a very <laughs> frugal person. <laughs> oh, I, everything's overpriced. My, my salary is way overpriced. Yeah. But them Demon Dragons, you know, you're going to spend, what, $5 on a float when you can accomplish the same thing with a peg float and a rattle for 50 cents. You know, Brett wants so. to know who your favorite wrestler is. Nature Boy, Na number one of all time, Nature Boy. I gotta go with Ricky the Dreamboat. Ricky, Ricky the, the Dreamboat, you don't even know who the Ricky, hell it is. Yeah, it is. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. There you go, let's see, it's been a while. He's, have you seen him lately, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? <laughs> he, I mean, he, he, he can alive? still, no, he can still go out there and wrestle, man. <laughs> he looks like he's in amazing I think shape. he actually lives somewhere around here. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat? I think he married a girl in this general zip well, What do you know? Yeah. Well, there, you there you go. The more you know, folks. Ricky Nature Ricky boy Ricky all the way, though. Ricky the dreamboat. Ricky the dreamboat. <laughs> <laughs> Petty stuff says, hot damn, finally made it to a live one. Well, hey, welcome, glad to welcome have welcome you. Aboard. Welcome aboard. Glad you're here. We're dropping off a little bit. We got 276. Yeah, we've been on here an hour and 18 minutes. Yeah. 
We're at $592 in content cash. Thank you all so much. Appreciate yeah, everybody sharp, who's donated. Sharpen your pencil. Let's get that on up. Let's get that on up to, to $1,000. He won't be able to sleep tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> 256 Jugalo. I'm looking at buying a couple of... Jugalo or Jigalo? Like male Jigalo? Well, it's J If this YouTube don't work out, that's it's my next job. That's Jugalo. Yeah, that's it's okay. Yeah, Gigolo. Well, nevertheless, Jigolo is what I'm doing now after we got YouTube. Some cash coming in. Bumblebee <laughs> for five dollars. Bumblebee. Money. Congrats on 100,000 subscribers and fishing full time. Superfly. Well, thank Snooker. you. I like Superfly, Superfly Snooker. Snooker. That you mentioned yeah. him before. I you like, like him. Superfly Snooker. He Pretty sure he killed his girlfriend. Ricky, yeah. boots. <laughs> what, watch the documentary. He killed his girlfriend. <laughs> no, he did. He's a murderer. Uh, <laughs> Garrett, Garrett Michael, thirteen, says for five dollars. Garrett Michael, thank you, buddy. Stop in Waco on your way to Austin and dump a few thousand on Skip Jack in Waco for us, please, sir. <laughs> I Get would like to go to Waco, Texas. Texas. Yeah. I'd like to go see where they burn David Koresh out. It's mm -hmm. I bet it's a, probably a tourist site now. Yeah. Garrett Michael, is that a tourist place? Can people go and check that out now, or is it like seized by the government? Tom, let in, me know if you know uh, on that. I'd like to see it. Tom in for ten dollars. Tom in again. Says, Same uh, Tom in? Yeah, he's been... Well, he's loading me up tonight. 602, LOL. I'm not sure what that means. 602, LOL. That's the comment? Yeah. That's the comment. And I know We've I lost that. something in translation I know, here. I know, I know I read that one. Tom in, I don't know. I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Unfortunately, it's probably an inside joke that I got left on the outside of. <laughs> Travis Wood Yard... I love your content. Please keep mixing it up and doing what you want to do. Well, thank you, Travis. I plan on it. 334 Outdoors. Have you ever thought of doing a buff fishing vid? A buff fishing vid? I, I've, I think there's a couple people. Buffalo? Said, I don't know. Buffalo, maybe? Buffalo? No. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No. But if it's buffalo, maybe. I just, I can't catch the damn things. I, I think I've caught a couple on my ultralight just accidentally. Shot a bunch of them back when I was bow fishing, but to target them. We got a bunch of them, but I don't know what the, what it is they're eating. Eric says his uh, wrestler is The Undertaker. All right. You can't go wrong with The Undertaker. I mean, he's a timeless classic. Derek Elder Sr. says, come on to Cincinnati and see where Charlie Manson was born. Okay. <laughs> All right. You know, here's a fun fact for everybody watching. When it comes to these serial killers, so I read the Unabomber's Manifesto a few years ago. Way above my Ted education. Kaczynski. Ted Kaczynski. I mean, we're talking like way above my super, education super level. Genius. Super genius. And so I got the bright idea that I might reach out to him and like try to better understand what the hell he was talking about. And in researching that, I found out, fun fact people, if you contact any of these people that are in prison, you get put on the watch list. You get put on the watch list for life. Brilliant. So I didn't I didn't reach out, but I thought well, that's yeah. You just got, you you just got canceled. Canceled. I got canceled. I just got, got canceled. Google just canceled me over yeah, the Uniball. But Fascinating story, that guy. They fried his brain with the LSD, and he went off the deep end, but super intelligent guy. I mean, that manifesto was crazy. Oh, I got you. Tom N. was adding to our super chat total, 592 plus 10. Uh, gotcha. That makes We're total sure. sense, Tom. Right, sure. right over our head. All right, we got two two donations here that I'm behind on. Bumblebee Junction for $5. Didn't Bumblebee! Now I feel like a deeter. He what? He, he didn't know something we talked about, and now he feels like a deeter. He's like a deeter, okay. And then we got ten dollars from James Smith. I ain't going to comment on that. <laughs> he said, um, uh, "Always like the videos, but would like to see a little more bank time from time to time." I know you were yeah. just on the bank. I saw I, I, I suffered through the bank video. Yeah, the yeah. Line. James, I want to do some more bank fishing. Right now, the challenge is he wrecked him on the Gulf over at North City Park. Yeah, I'll be doing that here in our tournament coming up in a couple weeks too. But uh, bank fishing right now is tough because our, our water level's up and everything's either private property, somebody's backyard, or it's so overgrown you can't get out. So in the fall, I'll be doing a lot more bank fishing again. You take a break over there again? Do I need little, to get little, pro neighbor back little, on the hey, Little, little, I mean, you can't. He just had to have a sip. He just had enough sips tonight. It looks like he's had half that bottle. <laughs> Sick now, somebody's going to. People's going to be going into Holly's shop. They're going to be going to CNC Outdoors. And saying I got a drunk for a moderator. That happened last time. True story. That is true. I had one bold rock, like thank my sponsor, Bold Rock, and I was <laughs> apparently hammered according to some bands. So uh Glenn Meadows, what hooks do you like? 
I like the Mustad Demon Circles. That's what I've been using for the last year or so. Catfish Sumo's got a hook coming out later this year that I'll probably at least try out, see if I like it. Jeff Nakuza, N-E-K-U-Z-A, Nakuza. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm going to start that. spelling being all these names. He says, morbid podcast girls are good on serial killers. <laughs> morbid podcast girls. You're going to look at that. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like something I'd be interested in. Nature Boy Ric Flair is the best of all time. You're damn right he is. He still got it. Oh, Nature. Oh, we got four ninety nine from Jack Ashmore just joining in. But would you ever start a podcast? I don't know if you have one. I just joined a couple of weeks ago. No, he does not want to do a podcast. No, you don't want me. Pa, you don't want me interviewing people. I I can't even get through this interviews here of myself. So, but thank you for the content, Cash. Appreciate you watching the channel. Tom N says he thinks you should patent your saying "go fish." Okay, I think it's a lot of. I think, I think it's a lot should, of money. I though. think you should get paid for from Mar M and M Mars because he uses fun size so much. I should. Yeah. yeah there's a partner. They, yeah, I need to be trademarking all these things. That's it's right. a lot of money to trademark, and then you got to sue people to show that you've protected it and whatnot, and. I was going to trademark kayak catfish and got talked out of it by the people that know stuff about that. So there you go. A little, little uh, business education 101 that I know nothing about. <laughs> Mike Box, who is seemingly new to the names here, he says, love the wrestling. Been watching since the 70s. Would love yes. to see some seasonal, I believe he meant to put chalkboard chats, where you talk more about catfish movement and how you choose your spots. Okay. And I'll give the man some credit because, I mean, it's impressive, the, you know, the opportunities I've had to be out with him. Um, you know, it's, it's impressive that he puts himself in the best possible way. And, and Pro Neighbors is the same way on the bass fishing side. He's very good at skewing the odds in his favor. And, you, you know, you're, you're not going to catch fish if they're not there. Yeah. You know, and, and his, you know, method of them – moving in and out of places in the right times of the year. I mean, it's kind of like, it's a test of patience at times because we'll go, you know, hours without a bite. And the next thing you know, it's, 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 it's mm -hmm. Katie bar the door. So props to your skills. Yeah. If you, if you, uh, thanks for giving me props for once pro modder. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm it warms my heart, but I'll tell you some good resources. If you truly want to know more about reading contour maps, the Buck Perry structure fishing book series, it's about bass fishing. He was a bass fisherman, but the best, it applies to all species, you know, and it's just amazing what he figured out on his own. I mean, he's the godfather of structure fishing. And as far as wanting to watch videos on this type of subject, Mark Cooper with Top Knox Fishing, he's a cat fisherman here in East Tennessee. He's been on my channel some. He is doing a video series just like you're asking for. He just posted a video the other day about breaking down contour maps and showing how fish move and where they're going to be and stuff like that. So he'd be a good resource for you there also. <laughs> Toothman32 said the compliment is the booze talking. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Because I wouldn't have got a compliment from him any other way. Well, Mike Box just donated $10 after we addressed his question. Well, thank you, Mike. I appreciate the content cash there. We had, we had this question earlier. I'm not sure who it was from. Um, and basically they were asking, why are we not on the water? And we would we would... Rather do it on the water, honestly, because yeah. we, we really both are committed to getting some incredibly, you know, crazy stuff going on live on the water. But again, we, we, we're no different than you guys out there trying to catch fish. It sometimes works in the way we want it to, and sometimes it doesn't. But fishing's tough. It's very, very hot. And, you know, we just kind of decided to kind of go a, a little bit different route tonight. So we, we are not giving up on the you know, going live from no, the No, we'll be the going water. live from the water again yeah. at some point. It's just... And cell know. service, and there's there's yeah. all sorts of stuff, you know, that, that we factor into that, too. So. Heat right now, too, is the other big issue. I mean, when you get when you get a sunny day like we've had out here today and, and you get high 80s, it's hard to keep cameras going, batteries overheat, and, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of technical stuff that I suck at. <laughs> Out there. Havoc Master for five dollars. Havoc Master wants to know uh, what was our or what was your scariest time on the river? Scariest time on the river for me would probably be I had a we had got my girlfriend a new canoe back two or three years ago. Put a bow mount on it. Biggest piece of crap kayak. I'm pissing off new canoe. I don't even give a crap because their kayaks are garbage. And this thing. 
Well, they mark. That's how you really feel about okay. It. Well, listen. They mark. <laughs> they make a bow mount plate for these kayaks, right? And so I had the pursuit model, and I'm out there in that thing, and that kayak is not suited for a bow mount motor in rough water. And I was out of there on Watts Bar. Wind kicked up on me. I was getting these huge rollers, and so every time the kayak would go over one wave, you would go through the next one, and all that water was coming over the bow there because of the weight of the bow mount motor. The hatch filled up, the inside of the hull filled up with water. I had over 10 gallons of water in that thing before I could get back to shore. And you talk about a scary ride, not just from because how rough the water was out there, but because the kayak was rocking back and forth from the water sloshing around. Total piece of garbage. You reach out to New Canoe, good thing I wasn't holding my breath on that callback. Never got to return call. So... <laughs> You know, this was a few years ago. My channel was nothing, but look at me now. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on New Canoe. And, this, and to answer your question, that was the scariest situation I've been in. So, Catman do Outdoors says they got here late, but they made it. Hey, better late than never. That's right. I wish yeah. my moderator had showed up late tonight. That's right. <laughs> um, Timothy Odom, I can kind of take this one. He says he's looking to get a kayak. What would be a good starter kayak? Well, you know, the, the aftermarket is fantastic right now, and, um, you know, it's it's one of those scenarios where most people rarely get the right kayak first, and both of us are sitting here, and we were in that same category, and, and now we're fishing out of what we need to be fishing out of. And so, if you're fishing, and, you know, you want to compete, or catfish, or whatever, you know, go to your local retailer, outfitter, and they're going to have an opportunity for you to demo, find what's comfortable to you, find what's in your price point, and then look at, you know, a 20, for 2021 models, look for a 2016, 2017, because what, what happens a lot of times is people think they're going to have all this time to, you know, use the kayaks on the water, and next thing you know, you've got a brand new boat for, you know, a very reasonable price, and they don't tend to, you know, I mean, there's nothing at all wrong with getting a used boat. You know, I would rather spend the same amount on a used boat to get what I want as opposed to getting something I didn't want and buy it new. Yeah. So that's what I would tell you, Timothy. Yeah. That's great advice. And, and, and along with what he said, you buy a good quality kayak used, obviously you're saving money, but if it don't work out, you don't like the kayak, you don't like kayak fishing, you turn around and you sell it, you're going to get your money back versus you go buy something lesser quality new you're going to take it on the chin when you go to sell it. You're going to be the one selling at a discount. So, uh, Jared O. says, Justin, do you have any interest in targeting northern snakeheads? And, and I, yeah, you know, we, we, absolutely, Jared. We both looked at some really cool snakehead videos. And, I mean, they're, you know, especially when you go overseas to Thailand, I guess. And, I mean, just it's amazing. That you go to Thailand, about, you're going for another reason. Well, snakehead. two reasons. Yeah. A, you know, <laughs> check two, two bucket list boxes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep it PG, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes I get in trouble for PG-13. Yeah, you do. Uh, I get Shane, kicked off of YouTube. It's going to be yeah, him that does it. Probably so. Uh, Shane Meeks for 4 dollars I'd love to see Thank you Shane. use a line bait with a float over shallow structure targeting flatheads. Love your content. Just to keep up the great work. Oh, Shane, I can probably make that happen. I can make that happen for you. Uh, this is a really good question from 256 Jubilo again. Uh, have you ever done a video of launching the kayak? Now, I've seen a video of him losing his kayak at the ramp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lost was, that sucker. Which was quite entertaining. Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's... You know, yeah, maybe that's something I can throw in at some I mean, point. You know, that, I mean, you know, if you're not used to it, I mean, there's there's easier ways to do it, especially, you know, where you're trailing it or it's in a truck and mm -hmm. kind of what, what you're trying to do, not to jam up the boat on it. Yeah, I, I mean, I trailer my kayak. I mean, especially that Old Town kayak, that thing, when you got the motor, the battery in it, that's in my, my bait cooler. I'm over 200 pounds in that thing. So if I got a boat launch, I back it down, launch it just like a boat. And, you know, if I'm going somewhere, if it's winter time, our water levels are down, ramps are out of service, I ain't taking that kayak. I'm hoping my new kayak shows up here. I've been waiting on that thing four months, and it'll be a lighter weight option for me, especially in the winter months here. So Epic Catfish says, I see somebody has some military friends. I think he, I think he sees the hat behind you. Will you grab that real quick? Oh, my God. You get... You've talked him into advertising for something here. Well, it's it's a, it's, a this is a, this is a good one here. This is a good one. Yeah, this is worth one. plugging. Yeah. So so a, a guy that that I I've met over the years. I used to be in the golf really big, and and he actually was a professional caddy, and we had on the road. I caddied on tour for a season, and he developed this company, um, and it's not specific to any one religion, but the the letters there are G I I C, 
And if you can tell right in the middle of that, it kind of creates a cross and it's God is in control. And he was kind enough to, to send me this hat and a couple other things um, and asked me to do kind of a video as to what that means to me, which I did. And he posted on his site. His, his name is AJ Montesinos. He's a interesting cat from uh, Southern California who happens to live in San Antonio. But, you know, it, it's, you know, I've got a camo golf bag. I, I'm not in the military, but I've supported the military and, and always have. And so does my family members that are business owners. So that's why that hat's sitting up there. And it's just kind of a cool thing. His, I think his website is GIIC.com. So even though Kayak Catfish doesn't like it when I do this because he's not getting paid, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. That's your payment for the night. <laughs> he's plugging all these companies that ain't paying me a dime. That's yeah, all right. I'll allow it. That was a good one to, to promote. I, I was disappointed in, in, in how pitiful the lost moon pie was, too. For $10, Heather Patterson, we noticed that upset you were when you lost your moon pie. Well, thank you, Heather. <laughs> you, I'll you, use your you content cash to buy some more. Some more. <laughs> So, I reached out to Moon Pie. I've sent them an email. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, they don't. They ain't responding back to me. I guess I ain't worth responding to. But I. I did reach out to Moon Pie. I'm looking for an official snack sponsor Heather, for Kayak Catfish. Heather, so if you got a connection down there, yeah, Heather. Since YouTube takes thirty percent of this, and he has to pay me the other seventy percent, <laughs> he still don't forget me. about the IRS and the tax man. That's right. Yeah, tax this man. Is, this is something that probably could be used to against yeah. us in the courses but we have a great accountant we do so a shout out to jim yeah. long jim longus <laughs> cpa <laughs> best accountant in Knoxville. Area, jim yep. longus accounting we all three use him he knows and understands yep. what we do and it's fantastic oh jim longus just bought him a new truck the other day apparently yeah. tax preps business is booming yeah, apparently it's a nice truck the longest accounting. That is he a, showed up at our kayak tournament the other night balling out there so yeah. uh tim Taflinger. Tap, tap language. T A F L I N G E R. We'll trust that you got it right. All right. We're going spelling. Tim. Right. Tim it is. Timmy. Timmy. Justin, have you ever fished the James River or Kerr Lake in Virginia? So many big cats mm -hmm. caught there. Both on the to do list, but I haven't made it up there quite are yet. Are those connected? Are they like a reservoir and a river? Uh, you know, that's a good question. I honestly don't know. I don't Get know my geography. For us, Tim. I, I don't have geography lessons here tonight, folks. <laughs> We're, we're at 672 on the content cache. 72 earned. That's awesome. What kind of new yak are you going to get? Old Town Big Water 132 PDL. Fished out of the Predator, which is basically the same hull, uh, just renamed. But I fished out of that when I went down there in Florida on my saltwater trip and loved it. It was an awesome kayak. And so uh, that, that bicycle pedal in motion doesn't bother me like the Hobie pedal in motion does. My, my butt just kills me with that Hobie pedal emotion. So I'm hoping to be able to pedal again with the old town. If it ever shows up, been waiting four months now. So we'll see. So Rob H has got an interesting comment. I'm just going to miss it without reading it. Okay. Because I want to. So he has taken me skipjack fishing. And the reason he hadn't seen it is because I dominate. I mean, it's just not even close. I, I catch six to one. And he has He's to, a skipjack he has, machine. He has to untangle my rig because... I'm not always the most efficient person, <laughs> and but no, uh, no, he has taken me skipjack fishing, and, and I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and read this. It gets boring watching you catch a big catfish. You should take your excellent moderator skipjack fishing. Mm -hmm. So he has taken me skipjack fishing, and it is a blast, and it's really cool because it's such an integral part of how successful you are with what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So, you know. See, what I, what I take out of that is he says my catfishing videos are boring. So, <laughs> See, hell he, with him. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> there you go. A glass half empty. You, 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 go, you start out to comment by insulting <laughs> me, and then, you know, so. There, there's also, there you there's go. also going to be a Broadway. email going out to HR department that only Eric's can go fishing with kayak catfish, apparently. <laughs> The owner of Catfish Slumo's name is Daniel. So, oh. you, can, you uh, can't pull that. You, know, oh, you can't pull that because okay. there's been a Daniel right. on my channel. So, aha. Uh -huh. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> the skip jack, I don't watch enough videos. The skipjack on Wheeler Lake I have turned off right now. Been uh, been four weekends and nothing. You still getting them, aren't you? Yeah, I've been really fortunate. It's been a good year here. I mean, there was a couple years back I couldn't hardly find a skipjack anywhere, but this year has been excellent. They must have had a good spawn a couple years ago. Look, you born pro moderate. He's young. How long have we been at this now? It's about time to wrap it up. We've been at it 98 minutes. Yeah, we're going to wrap this up soon, folks. Dalton Carter says do more carp fishing. Well, I plan on it. 
And then Trevor Dorsett wants to know, when does the catfish spawn end in Tennessee? Usually by about mid-July, most of them are off the nest. You'll have some that's went on late, but usually about mid to late July, the bites really pick back up. You start seeing all these fish with marks all over them. They're just beat all to hell where they've protected their nest and stuff. So, so. how deep do they spawn and where do they spawn? Shallow, uh, a lot of them shallow, but they're up on undercut banks uh, and kind of in the backwaters up under the logs. They're cavity spawners. So. Are they on the, in the boxes that we see yeah. when the water's down? Those boxes are put out there by noodlers. That's what I figured. Mm -hmm. And they rake them out by whatever they can grab hold of. Ryan's we don't like those noodlers in the catfishing world. Ryan's we don't think very highly of them. Ryan Zeminski says, kudos to CNC Outdoors. Yes. For, for having frozen skipjack. Thanks for mentioning them. Bought all they had, the la uh, I bought all they had a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, I think she mentioned you. I think $47 worth, I think there she said. Oh, Somebody bought $47 worth. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, big thanks to Holly for CNC Outdoors again. I'll plug her because she is, we've, we've tried to give away this reel now for three different live streams, but she is the one who has supplied that. Very generous of her uh, to do that and, and can't be more grateful. She does a phenomenal job at the shop. She runs our Thursday night bass, uh, kayak bass fishing tournaments. Just an excellent person. And if you're in the East Tennessee area, you need your bait. That's the place I recommend you go, not only to get your bait, but also support her and her business there. She does a, a great job at it. So thank who's, you, Holly. Who's leading in the Thursday night bass fishing AOY race? That would be her boyfriend, Eric Romans. He's number one. Who is in close second? Number two, this guy right here. I ain't even a bass fisherman, <laughs> but pro moderator here, number 13 in uh, Hobie points, I'm beating him. Pro neighbor here, <laughs> just walked across the Bassmaster Classic stage. I'm beating him too. There's tomorrow night. There's, There's tomorrow night. night. Right. We're going sweet. Well, I'm number two right now. I'm hanging in there like a hair in a biscuit, by gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so Derek Zion wants to know WCW or WWE in the 90s? Oh, really good question. So late 90s, here's what I did. I would watch WCW until nine o'clock flip over, see what was going to be the opening segment of Raw, go back to WCW, watch all the NWO and all that good stuff, then at 10 o'clock, watch Stone Cold or DX come out, and then go back to WCW again. But uh, I can't watch it now. 90s, 80s and 90s was where it was at. This crap they put on TV now, unwatchable. I don't even watch it. So Fred W. says, would you three have a catfish competition in one video? And would anybody need a 100-inch handicap? Well, see, here's the thing, Fred. If I do that, I get to reel all the fish in. Yeah. So I'm going to win. <laughs> I got to bait the hooks for him, teach him how to operate the reels. I got to do it all for him out there. He's going to win because I, I have to fix his mistakes all the time. That's right. <laughs> James Croft for a Super Chat of nine ninety nine. Thank you, James. He says he's watched every one of your videos. Oh, man, you've suffered through a lot then. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Thank you for your efforts. Hunter Wortman, can he please have a shout out? Hunter Wortman, there you go, buddy. You shout out. One. You just got one. New at this, Larry Phillips, how do I make a donation? You guys educate him real quick. <clears throat> yeah, there's a there's a money box down there somewhere, buddy. I struggle with it, man. I gave one to Palmetto Cats there a few weeks ago. Never could figure out how to type in the mount or anything. And then, and then your card's going to get whatever you whatever you donate. If you give ten dollars or something, they're going to charge you extra on your credit card. There, it's it's everybody's got their hand out in your pocket. And Hunter's mother is a police officer, and he would like for us to pray for her and thank her for her service. Absolutely, thank you for your service there. I support the police on this channel. Back to blue, ladies and gentlemen. Back to blue. Oh, it's six hundred eighty-two dollars in content cash. Pretty damn good for an hour and we'll go, 40 minutes we'll, we'll here. Go, we'll go to 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? 17 minutes. 17 minutes. We're wrapping this crap up. Guys, get us to $1,000. That's 300 and change. I know you can do it. We Let's say he's over folks. panhandling for me. We got he's got his, he's got got his two, hand out. $245. Uh, or, I'm sorry, 245 persons still in the chat. Got That's Jack a lot. Collins. We've been at this a long time. Still we got that Jack Collins. There. Hello from Louisiana. Hi to Louisiana, Jack. We like the, the mm -hmm. Cajuns. That's right. And Becca, if you're still watching, I'll reach out to you. I'll leave a comment or something. I hate to give out my email and all this on this live stream because it'll get blown up and stuff. So I'll reach out to you. 
and uh, we'll coordinate. We'll get you that reel. I'll have Holly Mel. Robert Hill says he would really like to do a fishing trip with you. He fishes Pickwick and Wilson a lot, but it would be awesome to fish with a pro. It's really overrated, Robert. It's overrated. I get it's a lot of people skunked. Very much overrated. I mean, um, how many times you've been skunked, me, Eric? A lot. I tell you what, it was. I was beginning to wonder what was going on, but I will say it was winter time. And, it's winter time. And, and I suck in winter. I, you know, I'm I terrible guess, wintertime fisherman. I've caught. I've caught a giant flathead, a giant blue, and two giant stripers, and and had a blast doing it. And you know, the, the day we went live, that we caught the really big fish, it was it was pretty comical because it was like we we made a we made a move and didn't know how it was going to work out. Eighteen dollars from Tom in. He's up to set. He, he he's got Tom in. He's like seven hundred dollars. You know. Listen, Tom, Tom, you better you, give. You're, you're, you're gonna be the new moderator, Tom. Tom's yeah. buying himself a place on That's this right. staff here. You better give your credit card back to your wife though. She's gonna be pissed at you when she sees all these charges. But thank you for all the donations tonight. But it is. I mean, it's it's just you know. Um, I've been fortunate. Matter of fact, Justin and I had this conversation when we we're out one evening. It's just like you know the. What we take for granted was some of the, the, the fishes. I just watched one of his videos the other night, and he caught a giant flathead and a giant blue and a spot he hadn't fished, you know. And obviously, not everybody can do that, but it's just like, you know, if you if you if you if you get in a community like this and, and you try to help each other, it's just like, you know, having a chance to catch a muskie or you know, I think I think he caught a big gar. I think I don't know if that's something that's been on the video that's been released yet. It's pretty cool. I saw a picture of it and. You know, just just the things we get to do. I mean, it's um, you know, there's a level of gratitude there, and it's it's a lot of fun. So I think that's why we try to help each other. So <clears throat> enough of that crap. Oh well, I mean, I, <laughs> I you know, I, and I'm, and I'll, I'll back what you said. Is like you know, this YouTube thing. I try to be the person on YouTube, the resource that I wish I had had back when I started fishing, and even getting you know years later into the kayak side of it is I try to answer those questions when I'm out on the water so that people that are new or find my channel will get some benefit other than just watching me reel in fish. You know, there's, there's a mentality with a lot of fishermen, a lot of fishing guides, unfortunately, that everything's got to be kept secret. And I just don't agree with that. You know, everybody should be able to go out and catch fish and have a good time. And uh, hopefully I'm helping some people do that with this channel. Eddie Fife wants a close-up of the liquor cabinet. <laughs> I don't know. I I couldn't fit it in in a close up. There's so much stuff over there. We'd have to we'd have to do portrait mode here to fit it all in. He has some he has some wild times here. I don't partake, but he has some wild times. Uh, it's it's far and few between. I just happened to have some guests in town last weekend. So bumble dates. That's what they right. are <laughs> crazy. Let's see, Terry Davis. Will my striper spinning rods work for catfishing in my kayak? Yeah, they should. They can catch a striper. They can catch a catfish. Hey, Eric Romans. I've seen him. Romans is in the house. Good news, Eric. Good news. We we we. First off, we gave you a shout out earlier because you know you leading the Thursday night tournament point race for now, even though you've quit kayak fishing. It was, and it was reluctant. It was very. It was very reluctant. reluctant. We we sincerity. we quickly got to me, who's number two. But we finally give away that reel that Holly provided there at CNC Outdoors. So we finally we finally found a winner on that thing. So Christian Garrison says hello from Oklahoma. 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 Boomer <laughs> Sooner. I love Oklahoma. Unless she's a cowboy of Oklahoma State. I don't know. Is that what they are, the Cowboys, Oklahoma State? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Cowboy. Oh. Oklahoma Sooners and Oklahoma State Cowboys. Yeah. Well, Mike, Mike Gundy, he was going to be our coach for a while. He was in the rumor mill. You remember that? Gundy yeah. Mullet, yeah. I'm a man. I'm 40. Matt Lewis <laughs> wants to know, uh, he, he says, explain how you troll at night for strippers. Well, what I do is, yeah, I throw out big swimmers. Strippers or strippers, Matt? Strip, yes, yeah, stri uh, strippers <laughs> and strippers, both. <laughs> But uh, no, I, th I usually use big swim baits. I've got some of those AC plugs. Those are probably my favorite baits. They're a jointed wooden plug. And I just get out there, make a fairly long cast, get some distance between me and the kayak and just cruise. I like to work the brake lines just like I would if I was you know, targeting catfish and get those main channel ledges and they come up and just annihilate them things. Unfortunately, I've got a lot of requests for those type of videos and I've, and I've got some on my channel, but it's hard when you're filming <laughs> for this stuff because when I flip that light on so I can get video footage, them fish, they just, you know, they just disperse. So it's hard to get a good video 
from it, but there's a lot of action to be had, and then out there at night, they're actively feeding. So, Anthony Moore says, JJ, my wife wants to know if Eric is wearing the kayak catfish prototype Speedo tonight. It's next week. <laughs> He's got the phone, actually. He's got a phone. He doesn't have a phone. Which is amazing because he doesn't normally wear underwear. So. That's true. I'm <laughs> Adam Teeks has asked Catfish Dave to take you on a fishing trip on the boat and make a collaborative video. Yeah, I, I don't know that'll ever happen. I don't ever. Used to, I ran into him pretty frequently, but I haven't seen him in months. And the last time I had messaged him, he had won a reward there, the Golden Whiskers Award there from Palmetto Cats. Uh, last, I think it was around Christmas time, he did an award show. And I reached out to Dave because uh, he hadn't responded to Kevin. He never responded to me, and I, ain't, I haven't seen him since. So it's probably been six, eight months since I've seen him. So I don't know what he's up to these days. Gundy wouldn't be any worse than what we've got. Oh, that's the truth. <laughs> I, would, I would chip in to get Gundy here versus whatever G, we've got. G-Style Fishing wants to know, what camera stands do you use on the kayak, and how do you have them mounted to get the best angle? So the on my front camera that's facing me in the kayak, I've got a Scotty panfish mount. And I've just got it in a Scotty base, with, and it's got a little ram ball head up top that I've kind of played with the angle to get the right view. The camera mount on my chest and the one I'm holding in my hand here is just a, uh, like a generic hand grip, but it's got a battery pack in it. And so I'm able to hardwire my cameras, and in this case, my phone that I'm filming with here now, from that grip, and I just shove it down in my, between my life jacket there. And so that, it's kind of a chest mount that I can easily remove and get some different angles and this, that, and the other. But uh, yeah, those are the two mounts that I use most of the time. And in my Hobie kayak, I've got a DIY PVC mount. That I made. We got Super Chat, content cash, $10. Ten dollar. Thanks for the great content and sharing your knowledge. So who's, who gave me the content cash? If you can read it, good luck. Let me, let me click on Green Machine Outdoors. Okay. That's Dan. 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 Okay. Do, dominant Dan. He wins all the kayak catfishing tournaments. Now. He's up there on the James River. No, I, I thank you for the con I thank you for the content was, cash, Dan. That was Green Machine, so I knew you might know. Yeah, he's going to be in contention for that championship belt here in the kayak catfishing, so the king saying, cat. You're saying you've got some competition? Oh, there's a lot of competition in there now. There's oh, yeah? Some, yeah, there's some guys that's putting up some big Are scores. Are you scared? Now. Are you saying you're scared? I think he's scary. I mean, my, my hey, fear level tonight hey, is in this house. Hey, <laughs> hey, With all that, I may be getting hit on here tonight. But that's what I'm scared of. But. Um, Trevor well, thank you again, Dan. I appreciate that content, Cash. Trevor Dorsett wants to know, how do you get your maps of the river contours? Navy Onyx. I've got the app on my phone, and I've got a chip that goes in my fish finder graph. I think it's boating... Boating USA in the app store, I believe it is. I think it's 10 bucks, 10, 15 bucks. Pretty awesome app. Really accurate for our area. Some areas it's not, but out here in East Tennessee, very accurate. John Wallace says, shout out, just a long time of year. Since you're getting tax breaks on gardening now, if you include your girlfriend, can you get a write-off on room and board, food and clothes, building my God, strategy? I need it. <laughs> I, I, like your, I like your thought process, buddy. That's... That's, I can't say too much about that because she may be watching, but I like where you're going with it. <laughs> Mike Harvey said that topwater fishing for carp looks like a lot of fun. It was. It, it was, was a blast. It was really fun. We, we, I, I made a poor decision on the water. but Yeah, pro moderator messed that night up for us. Long story to be short. So. High rent district. A lot of big boats up there where we was fishing. Anthony Shelton wants to know if we've ever fished Green Lake in Seattle. No, but I, I would love to, to, to get out there. And, you ever been to Seattle? I have been to Portland. I don't think yes. I've ever been to Washington State. Have you been? You've been up there, haven't you? Well, close, Portland. but not all the way up to You've Seattle. Portland's right on the border. Yeah, I've been to Portland a little ways up to Seattle. Yeah. Beautiful. I yeah. Beautiful I state. Fished, I did a float on the McKenzie River, which was just, just outstanding um, several years ago. And we fished for steelhead and trout and, and caught trout and then it took, cooked them in a cast iron skillet for lunch. And I mean, it was just a, a heck of a cool experience. It's kind of one of those deals where there was an actual guide up there that guided there in the summer and then went to the Keys and did bone fishing in the in the winter. Nice. And it was kind of That's one of those a good deals. life. It is a good life, right? And so it's like, you know, you're going down this river. It's like, man, are those class three or four rapids? I said, <laughs> He goes, they are if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I was like, you know what? This is probably a good guide right here. <laughs> so, 
We got four ninety nine from Blue Chasing Blues. All right, thank you for the content cash. He fishes vertical in the Mississippi. Come to Memphis when the spawn is off, and we'll get them. Thanks for the entertainment. Well, thank you for the invite. Appreciate you watching. Oh yeah, we're at seven fifteen. We crossed seven hundred dollars okay. in content cash. That's awesome. Seven fifteen. Thank you all so much. Yeah, seven minutes to go. What Where are we, we at? Seven, seven more minutes. minutes. We're doing this crap. Yeah. Well, We've been started. at this a long time tonight, y'all. Wants to know if you drink coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker. I'm mostly water, juice, and some sun-kissed Coca-Cola, Pepsi. But no, not much. Never got a, into the coffee. <clears throat> Although, if Black, Black Rifle Coffee Company that Pro Neighbor here is wearing, if they want to buy some advertisement space on my channel, <laughs> I'm willing. Hit me up. <laughs> Patriot Catfishers of America, hi, all my American friends. Hey, go America. That's right. We all American here. USA. Ten dollars Ten dollars from Leonard Vaughn. Leonard, all right. Thank you for the content cash. Love the content as I am. A disabled due to an ATV accident in 2019. All my time is spent on my back in front of the TV watching YouTube. I think I've seen most of your videos, some of them multiple times. Well, thank you. I'm sorry to hear about your accident there. I hope you're able to recover from that and get back to living a healthy life there. Thank you for the content cash. Definitely. What do you got for us, fans? Five more minutes. We can, five, we can wrap it up early if nobody's left. There's 235 people in there. Yeah, I mean, we got people. And we're just not, not a whole lot of... Yeah, you know, y'all, this is one of the things here with these live streams. Uh, you know, I've had some complaints recently in my comment box of people upset because I used to respond to every comment. And lately, it's like, you know, time is... Especially now with the number of videos I'm putting out and the number of comments coming in, I just can't do that. So what I'm wanting to do with these live streams is to be able to come on here, interact with people, give it a, you know, hopefully a more personable experience. And I feel like this is more, more personable than me just replying thanks, you know, a bunch of times in the comment box. And, uh, you know, I do read those comments. I've got a moderator that's going through weeding out the nasty stuff and blocking people so that it's more positive experience for me. But I, unfortunately, I just don't have time to be able to go through and answer everybody. So hopefully videos like this, like we've done tonight or, enjoyable for people and you know get to some of these questions and interact with you and we're going to let my moderator get fired here very soon if kevin from palmetto cats is still watching because he's getting the opportunity to do that after our last episode but uh anyway y'all it's been an awesome experience here tonight i appreciate all the super chat we're at 725 77 which is amazing you know i think back to all the all the long shifts i worked in the nursing world $725, you know, when I first got out of school, hell, I didn't make $725 in a week, you know, and, and to come on here and do this live stream and, and make this just to sit here and talk to people, it's pretty damn amazing. So thank couple, you all. A couple questions here. You got a couple gonna, questions? Yeah, that we can hit quickly and, and uh, whatnot. Uh, Keelan Phillips just got, um, got into fishing lakes. Any tips on fishing with planer boards? I know we've talked a little bit about planer boards. Yeah, planer boards. I played with them again the other day. You'll see that in an upcoming video. But the planer boards is, it's tough if, you, if you're not in a boat. Because if you're in a kayak, the first, even if it's a small fish, between the fish and the drag on the board, you're going to get spun. And for planer boards to be effective, you got to keep yourself moving forward at all times. And so that's the number one thing I would tell you is do it out of a boat. Don't. People are doing it in the kayaks. I know guys that are doing it, but for me, it was more of a hassle and frustration than it is successful. And we'll but say that this is our last question. For the me. last question coming up. Make it a good one. I, I think it is a good one. I think this would give you a, a good little talk, couple talking points. Douglas Medlin, how long does it take to do a video? Okay. Well, so it takes most of my day because – if you factor in my fishing time, so most of my fishing trips are four to six hours. I try to go out and be on the water at dawn now, try to be off around 11 or noon, go home, eat lunch, and then depending on the success I've had on the particular day, kind of determines the length of the video. So if I've caught just a few fish, everything's on one camera, I can knock that out within an hour. But if it's a, a video where I've caught a lot of fish, maybe one of these 30 to 45 minute videos you see me putting out, and I've got multiple cameras. I've got the chest cam and the front camera on there. You know, I mean, I've got 45 minutes in that video just to watch it back if it's, you know, a 45 minute long video to make sure I've edited everything out plus the time. So, you know, you're looking at three to four hours on a 45 minute video. So, you know, you factor in 
five, six hours on the water, driving time, three hours or four hours of editing. Then you got to upload it to YouTube, which typically takes about an hour. Get your thumbnail, your tags, all that stuff. Uh, come up with some stupid ass title for it. Some people will actually click on it and watch. <laughs> and so that's, you know, that's a, that's a full work day. I use that term loosely, but that's how you, if you're going to do YouTube as a job, I feel like you got to, got to treat it as a job and put the time into it and do it right. And so right now it's, taking up a lot of my time because um you know we're out here in peak peak months for fishing on youtube fishing's a year-round activity for me but it's very seasonal on youtube spring and summer months more people are searching fishing content and so i'm cranking it out right now i'm trying to put out as many videos as possible and once we get into the fall and winter i'll scale back and maybe take a little take take a little bit more time off maybe but uh, thank you for the question thank you for all the questions out there tonight Pro moderator said that's the last one, and I'm fine with that. Y'all, I give him hell. He's moderator of the year right there. I don't care how many super chats he missed. He's still number one in my book. <laughs> Thanks to Pro Neighbor, giving us Thank some you. color commentary. Walking across Bassmaster stage. He's a legend here in East Tennessee. We all look up to him and admire him, so congrats to you. Thank you, everybody who has tuned in tonight, and we'll try to do this here again in a, in a month or so. So anyway... Thank y'all. 725 we walk around out of here tonight with y'all. You believe that? 725. Good night. God